broke it live. Yeah. Okay, we broke it live from the west side. Worldwide Network based in sunny Las Vegas. Let's get down to business. This is the main meeting. The Entertainment Worldwide Network is here to change the face of the entertainment industry with education for business and personal tips for life. Covering seven continents worldwide and all points in between. This knowledge is practice, so hold on to your seat. Get your pen and pad and be ready to take notes. You are live on the Entertainment Worldwide Network. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Entertainment Worldwide Network. My name is Pastor Donger, your CEO of the Entertainment Worldwide Network, Commissioner of the 300 Elite Members on the winning team. You are now locked in to the best day of the week. It's winning team Wednesdays. We're about to talk about everything that all the 300 members are working. If you're not a member, don't feel bad. We appreciate our family members outside of the team, but somebody has to be a part of the association in order for us to make the championships happen. Uh, the winning team is all about taking your your brand, business, product, service, whatever you're working on to the next level. We can't do it without you, and because of you, we are changing the world. This is not a game, y'all. This is not a game. When you get an opportunity to speak, make sure that you know who you are, what city and state you're calling in from. Give a little taste of your past, present, and your future. Where are you going to go? We cannot, shall not, will not, accept nothing else best than success. My name is Pastor Don Jr., CEO I'm live. I'm taking it to a whole nother level. Y'all don't know what we're about to do. We're about to change the world through example. We got some people coming in from the Black Panther today, man, and uh, this, this movie just made uh, history. It, 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 it trumped the Titanic, and it just keeps going and going. We are all a team, no matter what. No matter what goes on, I got you everywhere, where we need to be, where we need to be. It. I'm so thankful that each and every last one of y'all are calling in to the Entertainment Worldwide Network, Winning Team Wednesday. Uh, we're going to have a short commercial break. After this commercial break, we're going to be right back. The call-in number is 712-775-7031. If you know anybody that needs to get some money, tell them 712-775-7031. The PIN access is 330-586. I appreciate y'all. We'll be right back. Yes, this is Lenny Williams. I'm out here in uh, Oakland, California. I'm Lisa Lay. I sang on uh, Payment with the NWA. Dr. Dre and Easy E. It's Just Will, Black Pearl Entertainment Artist, newly signed to I Am Jesus Records. You're listening to the Entertainment Worldwide Network with Don Jr., CEO. Coming to you live. This is business, so pay attention. Yo, it's your boy LV the Slap Thing. And I'm over here chilling with my guy, the plug, Don Jr., CEO, Entertainment Worldwide Network Radio. You dig? What's good, homie? This your boy, Big D. It's your folks checking traps. This your peeps, Captain Mac. I'll let your boy, Boss Lena. It's your boy, Brick Boy Rico. It's your boy, Joe Dirt. Hey, yo, what up? It's your boy, Buddha, a.k.a. Buddy Mouse. Yo, what's good? This is Vip Percy Jones. And Big Cell is now in your area. Yo, this your boy, Mr. Hampton. It's your girl, Lady Duet. It's just Rich Gates. This your bro, JT, Mr. Guaranteed the Rick. Yo, this your dude, Insane G. What up? This your boy, Jihad, a.k.a. J. Hood. Yo, this your folks, Young Birds. Yo, this your folks, GB Cooley. Yo, this is Mike G. Jungle. Hey, what it do? It's your boy, Saves Money. This your boy, Big Chad Domenko. Bye-bye. Salute the big dog. This your boy, Jay Futuristic. This your folk, Lil Raheem. You did. I am Geronimo Bills. Off the deep end. Getting blessings. Wise Life Records. And you're listening to the Entertainment Worldwide Network with Don Jr., the CEO, coming to you live. Hey, what it do? This is Charlie Boy, the versatile Charlie. <laughs> 
You're listening to the hot, 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 hottest radio station. Hottest station. Fashion is so seductive live.com. Log on to so seductive live.com. So seductive live has the best apparel from Gucci, Prada, Fendi, Guess, Rolex, Nike, Tiata Michelle, True Religion, Louis Vuitton. Greetings, I'm Miss K, CEO and founder of So Seductive Shoes and Fashion. I started my company to keep you informed. Log on to so seductive live.com. I believe in fashion, so so seductive is fun and needs to be seen. I want to inspire people just like you. I want someone to look at me and say, because of you, I didn't give up. Log on to SoSeductiveLive.com. I am Miss K, CEO and founder of So Seductive Shoes and Fashion. You can find me on your favorite social network at Keisha Miss CEO. Log on to SoSeductiveLive.com. There's a lot to learn in the music business, and without a teacher, it gets even harder and very costly. Introducing the Green Dragon Record Breaker Blueprint. Don Jr., CEO of the Entertainment Worldwide Network, has put together a detailed book to take your career to the next level in the entertainment business. The Green Dragon Record Breaking Blueprint will teach you the do's and don'ts of the entertainment industry, starting from the beginning to the end. The Green Dragon Record Breaking Blueprint covers the topics of business plan, logo design, CD design layout, sales, radio airplay, CD marketing strategies, massive emailing, CD sales one sheet, press kit, media kit, online media kit, internet marketing, MP3 online distribution, hip-hop blog sites, hip-hop magazines, hip-hop DVDs, mixtapes, street teams, music publishing and royalties, music lawyers, tour booking, and more. The Green Dragon record-breaking blueprint is available only by contacting Don Jr., CEO, at 818-358-5722 or email CEO at gmail.com. Do you need more exposure? Do you need more fans? Are you planning to be wealthy and successful in business? The 365 Days of Radio Campaign is a business training program teaching you how to build your brand, business, product, or service. How to meet and network with people in other cities. How to make connections with other business owners. And how to talk about your business on an open platform. All the tools you need before you speak to investors, advertisers, and or sponsors. Are you ready to receive money and make it to the next level? Education is the key to success. And experience is the best teacher. Learn from the comfort of your own personal remote location. The 365-day radio campaign is a business training program. For business training, tuition, schedules, and fees, please call Pastor Don Jr., CEO, and the winning team at 818-358-5722. That's right, Pastor Don Jr., CEO of the winning team at 818-358-5722. Greetings in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. This is Pastor Don Jr., CEO, Entertainment Worldwide Network. We're based in sunny Las Vegas. Our radio network goes out to 66 countries. We have 1.5 million listeners in total global audience. We're syndicated in 25 and AM and FM radio markets over 100,000 podcasts, and, and the numbers are going on forever. I am just so thankful you're here. We let us bless this show. Heavenly Father, right now, Lord, cover each and every last one of the individuals that's here under the sound of my voice, the people that's hearing us on the playback or broadcast, millions of letters later, Lord. Let it preach and be what they need so they can change the world. Let it preach into their soul, to their spirit, so they can change the world, Lord. We only deal with world changes, God, because that's what you put on my desk. Me being near on the matrix, use me as a catalyst to spark their brain to change the world. In Jesus Christ's name, amen, amen, amen. You're tuned in to the Entertainment Worldwide Network. My name is Pastor John Jr., CEO, coming to you live from St. Las Vegas. Please log on to our website at E www.radio.com. We have a power pack show. The whole purpose of the winning team, we will going to win by leading Operation Bite Side. Changing negatives and the positive, we're going to win by leading by examples. If you don't show up, you're not available. You cannot get the blessing God's going to give you. With that being said, we're in our roll call session. 
when I open up your line, you say who you are, what city and state you're calling in from, and let people have a 15-second blurb about who you are. We have a flooded line, uh, and I want to make sure I get to everybody at the anointed time. With that being said, I'm going to start off with my guy. Uh, we're going to go out to Mr. H-Dub. I see you in the building, H-Dub. I know who you are. Doing me for a long time. This is one of my mentors. I love the way he kicks it off because he kicks it off like nobody else. Uh, Mr. Harold Whaley, you got the floor, my brother. Okay, we're going to keep it moving. All right, we're going to the next line. Uh, we're going out. I'm going to say the first six digits of your number. When I say the first six digits of your number, you please announce yourself. Tell us who you are, what city and what state you're calling in from, and let us know your name, your product, your business, your service, and a 15-second blurb about what you do. With that being said, I'm going to have to call it 916-380. Call it 916-380. You're live on Wednesday, Team Wednesday. You're now on the floor. Okay. We're going to go out to call it uh, 757-581. Call it 757-581. You're live on Wednesday and Wednesdays with whoever won. Hey, hello. Can you all hear me? Yes, sir. You're live. Okay. All right. All right. How you doing, Pastor Don Jr., CEO? Uh, this is Mike Love. Um, I own a company called Tip Spins. Um, it's a mobile DJ request app. I'm looking to be doing big things with it, hopefully network with some of y'all. I'm about to launch in about another month here. So that's that. Let's have a good conversation today. Hey, man, thank you for showing up, my brother. Really appreciate it. We're going to keep going out to the call lines. We're going to go out to call the 720-532. Call the 720-532. You're live on the Entertainment Worldwide Network. Who do I have on, on the line? What's cracking, my Pastor Don CEO? This is a Cal Snuff, West Coast, calling in from Area Code 303, Denver, Colorado. I'm just checking in with you, supporting the winning team. And what I do is uh, lyrical ministry. And that's what my brand is. And I'm anointed by the Most High. Let's get it on. Hey, man, keep it moving. We're going to have to call it 907-545. Call it 907-545. Uh, check in, my brother. Pastor Don Jr., CEO, this is Lonnie Holly calling out of that combo of Bethel, Alaska, and Lakewood, Washington. I am in my Lakewood, Washington home this week, and I am checking in with winning team because we are going to change the world. We're already in the process, and I just wanted to check in with you, sir. Well, listen, man, I really love your uh, product, what you got, man. Give a little tease about how that buddy can come to them and they sleep, man. You were telling me about the, like, uh, you, 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 you about to release that. Give, give him a little tease real quick. Just give him a little oh, taste. Oh, my God, my God, my God. Why are you messing with me? Why are you messing with me? Yesterday I started working on a product for my mother's show because I will be on Friday morning, which will be 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning over here my time. And as I'm coming to the show, and it's my mother's show, I wanted to release to the world through her show a product called the Wealth Activating System. Now, my Wealth Activating System is designed, you know, I was going to, and still that, I'm going to give it out on the show for anybody who calls in and make a $25 uh, donation on the show, as, and, and as well, the material that I'm studying uh, as I get ready for my message, I'm going to put a study guide together on that material and give that away free. So my study guide will be free. My wealth activating system will be uh, based on donations of at a minimum of $25. But I, after I put this product together, I want to make it available for free to winning teams. I want to make I like, it free, available. I like to hear that. <laughs> free. Well, well hey, I, 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 that, that word free is crazy with me, but we're going to put your ball. So I think we'll be right back with you. We're going to keep it going. Got to go out to call it 323-646. Please state who you are, what city and state you're calling in from. You know, have a floor. 
This is Judge Joe Brown. I'm just calling in from America. Anyway, Pastor Don, CEO, how you doing? I like what you're doing. Hey, man, well, you know, when you get to Florida, man, you take over by show. I got to give you some space, man. Let everybody know how they can change their life. And that's what it's all about. How we going to change the world, Judge? You put it down, brother. Focus. It's manhood. Manhood is to mankind like a lifeboat is to an ocean liner. When you get a titanic situation going on, you really need that lifeboat. And you also want to make sure it works. So it's man up. Man power to the forefront. That's the program. You can catch me on Twitter at Judge Joe Brown TV. And he actually, that's his real Twitter. He actually responds too, man. He's really good about that. Judge, I really appreciate you, brother. This is, just, just stay in the building. I, I need some of that wisdom because I, I need to get some people some space, but I definitely want to get some feedback from you. So stay with us. Oh, we're going out to my intelligence officer, uh, Mr. Will Flux. I know who you are. If you could, please introduce yourself to the winning team members that don't know you. Will Flux, you don't have the floor. Uh, hi, everybody. How you doing today? We want to give mad love out to the winning team for all the representatives that showed up uh, today. Hey, Judge, how you doing? I've uh, watched you countless times on TV. Uh, love the way you talk. Love the way you carry yourself, the, the demeanor you carry, the advice you put out. Um, I heard you at the end say, Judge, uh, TV, I'll get that Twitter later. But anyway, I just want to say to the winning team, uh, thank you all for coming out. As you see, we're starting to make a lot of moves happen. Um, shout out to my man, Don Jr. CEO. Thank you, Pastor, for um, you gotta, bringing you all of this together and making gotta, this possible. Hold on, hold on, man. You got to tell them why you're an intelligence officer. Because a lot of these people you've been watching, but they don't know you. They don't, you, you see them, but they don't know you're watching. Tell them why you're an intelligence officer. They need to know. Oh, I'm I'm the um the entrepreneur that takes um uh, our grassroots talent and um I get them ready, get them developed up so that they can make the uh take the next step and um we can get them out so that we can bring that their royalties and whatnot back home. So I get them trained up so that uh their business oriented so that when you all see them as you know, you see them as business personnel and not as some young talent that's not prepared. So I help them get situated. I help them understand business management and understand business as a whole so that when they come to these events, they're prepared. That's what I do. Um, I'm Will Flux. Why you can catch me on Facebook. But, hey, I just chimed in today to give a shout-out to the judge and Don Jr., CEO, the winning team, let everybody know, hey, I love what's going on. I see that we're making real big moves now. Y'all continue to stay here and give us a little bit more time so that we can make all of this come together so that we can start putting money back into the people's pocket. Thank you. You know, that's that confirmation, Bill. <laughs> all right, stay with me, brother. All right, we're going to keep going out to my call lines. I want to take call at 636-549. You're live. How's everybody doing today? Um, peace to the brother, Pastor Sidon, CEO. Um, peace to the whole winning team. My name is uh, DJ Doc Holiday. Uh, originally from Chicago, based out of the Richmond area as of right now. Uh, what I actually do, uh, I'm a radio host. Uh, I'm a DJ by, by mixtapes, also radio as well, mix shows. Also do a lot of uh, online marketing also as well, and also street teams. Uh, what I actually see with the team, um, I'm here to actually add on any positive information that I can that will uh, help advance anybody's career. Also do artist management as well. Uh, I'm a little all over the place. Um, right now, I'm just basically just trying to get all the knowledge that I can and uh, basically try to apply it as best as possible. Well, while I got your line open, I always believe in capitalizing on my opportunity while I was there. If you could, can you give us a street report? What's going on in the streets in your city, in your area, for all the winning team members that don't know what's actually happening right there? Uh, as far as the music or as far as just the whole scene in general? Both. I need both. I need everything. We got, we got oh, music okay. people. We got judges. We got doctors. We got lawyers. We got veterinarians, landscapers. Okay. We need to know what's okay. going on in the streets. Well, you know, Richmond is a, you know, uh, a southern state. So, you know, we, we, we have, you know, some things going on, whether it be from, uh, you know, the Charlottesville thing a couple of months, uh, a while back. 
uh, over to some positive things where they have, you know, a lot of black businesses and they actually focus on those type of uh, events and such things like that. Um, we actually got a real big concert coming up called Stone Soul. It happens once a year. Uh, basically, the major radio station um, actually takes care of that. They have a couple of different artists that come out, and it's almost like an outside type of festival type of thing. Uh, right now, also, too, you got a lot of different uh, festivals getting ready to come up. They're huge out here right around this time. And uh, and to actually do a, a little personal plug myself, um, you know, I do actually have a mixtape coming out with an artist by the name of Cool Taj the Great, based out of Buffalo, New York. Uh, we basically focusing on Boom Bap, uh, which kind of, you know, it, it's more of a, a lost art in a sense, uh, mainly in the underground per se. But we're actually kind of teaching knowledge on this one. You know, we kind of take in the grown man approach with ours. So we're not really, you know, using a whole lot of profanity, of course, but we definitely want to uh, send a message out, but we definitely want to stay in tune with what's popping in the streets as well. Uh, but other than that, you know, we just kind of moving things and kind of staying positive over here, you know what I mean, trying to do different things to reach out to the community as best as we possibly can around here. Man, thank you for that stream report, brother. You be blessed and stay with us. Uh, we're going to keep going back out to our call lines. I want to take call at 918-902. Call at 918-902. You're live on the Entertainment Worldwide Network, Winter Team Wednesdays. And now yourself, tell us who you are, what city and state you're calling in from. You got the floor. This is Tamara Lockett. It's an honor to be on the line. Pastor Don, CEO. I'm calling from Fort Worth, Texas. And I'm happy to be here with the winning team. Amen, amen, amen. Well, we, we got a lot of stuff going on, and um, everybody's checking in. I appreciate all y'all being due diligence, and we so deep, man. Um, wow, this is amazing. Uh, I got to go out to my – I got a TV producer out at, uh, in Houston, and he got a – I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, it, it, it should be Houston. Uh, Mr. Malik Freedom, I know who you are. You need no introduction, but it's a lot of people who don't know who you are. If you could, give them a little bit about your background, what you got got you in the game, name some names, because we need name dropping, because we, we are deep, 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 deep. Mr. Malik Freedom, you now have the floor, sir. Peace. What's good, everybody? My name is Malik Freedom. I'm working on something comedy-wise that over time will definitely be bigger than Def Jam. Uh, we're filming starting in June, and I have some old footage that I'm airing on uh, UHN, which is the Urban Houston Network, where I'm a video editor that uh, airs within a 100-mile radius of Houston and reaches 1.2 million people weekly. Uh he said, Nate, drop some names. Anybody you can think of in comedy, I can access. I just leave that there. I'm here to help our people as much as possible in any way that I can. Uh, give out your contact information and let them know what city and state you're calling in from and let them know what, how they can get their stuff submitted to you and what kind of footage and content you're looking for. Uh, looking for quality stand-up comedy. My cell phone number is 832- Nine two three one seven nine five. Uh, my website is www.laugh the number four freedom dot com. Uh, we're also looking for a variety of content at the networks. So if you have a short film or some type of sketch comedy or anything that's worth viewing on television, you can definitely reach out to me. Uh, again, that number is eight three two nine two three one seven. Nine five, and my email address is freedom film p r o d at gmail dot com. That's f r e e d o m f i l m p r o d at gmail dot com. Thank you so much, Mr. Freedom. Really appreciate you. Stay with us. Uh, now we're gonna go try a sponsorship break. This show has been sponsored by Tips Spins. Dot com. Tipsfans.com is going to revolutionize the world. For the next two minutes, you're going to hear from Mr. Mike Love. He's going to explain to you why this app is going to revolutionize everything we're doing for ministers, pastors, preachers, uh, anybody that do live events. We need to utilize this app. Uh, with that being said, Mr. Mike Love, you now have your two minutes, sir. Hey, how y'all doing? Um, so Tipsfans is, as I said, a uh, mobile DJ request app meaning that you can um, go to a nightclub and request a song from a DJ. I've now actually expanded it so that you can actually request a song from an independent recording artist. So any of you out there that manage, know, 
or uh, support independent artists. This is like basically about to be the first one of its kind that allows independent artists to actually get paid. You go out to their event supporting them as a fan, and you can request a song that you want to hear them sing. In the process, they get paid. So it kind of works like that. Uh, tip spins overall, pretty simple process. The DJ picks his playlist so as not to interfere and uh, take him out of what he's doing. Uh, he doesn't have to get like a, a mobile air card, internet card or whatever to, uh, to download anything. Um, you know, basically, I set it up so that DJs can get paid to do what they already came to do. And um, a lot of brand new features coming, a lot of things rolling out. I'm going to actually have it so that you can actually uh, do a email blast right from the app. So those of you in the music industry that have done email blasts in the past, you don't have 300,000 friends, let's be real. You don't have 100,000 friends, you know. If you're past the dumb, maybe I believe that you've got 50,000 friends. <laughs> but in this case, you can cherry pick um, a DJ that's actually – a club DJ, most importantly, using the app in the location of your choice. So you can target market people that will actually have the opportunity to spin your, your record and so forth. Um, that's all coming soon. About a month and a half from now, I'm going to have it fully launched. Right now the app is actually in the, in the um, app stores, however. I'm not pushing that version because I'm working on something new, something way more ingenious than my first time around. I had about 8,000 downloads in two months. It's minimal marketing. It's me, myself. That's it. No help, no support. Just thought it up one day. I, I called Mr. Harold Whaley. I said, hey, man, I got an idea. He said, go for it. And too many times what we do as people and black people, we've invented some of the most amazing things out here. Street lights, <laughs> the shoes on your feet. I mean, you name it. We've invented some of the, some of the most amazing things. Don't sleep on anything that comes to your mind. My advice is that if you have something, you've got a good idea, try your best to make it happen. Try your best to see it through. Get support. That's why I'm on the line here. I, I, I seek help. I seek consultation. I seek support. I'm not perfect. I don't know everything, and I'm very humble. So, you know, try your best to, to get that idea, make it happen. The best ideas go to the grave. So, Tip Spins is about to be that thing that uh, is going to be synonymous with uh, you walking to a club and requesting a song. So basically solves the problem. Whatever you have, it, it usually has to solve a problem or alleviate, make something easier. This solves the problem of people walking into the club and standing around. And uh, you, you, you come to the club, you want to have a good time. You want to dance to what you, what you like, what you came to hear, and not sit around having to wait all night, 11, 12 o'clock, finally he plays your song and everybody gets up off the wall. Um, DJ's booth doesn't have to be bumped. You can ask him for a shout-out. You can ask him for a request. And in the process, he's happy to do it because he's getting paid. I do a simple split between me and the DJ. I don't believe in robbing anybody. It's enough for everybody. So I'm only taking a dollar, a dollar fifty out of all that. So really, really good benefit for the DJ. And my my thing here is just a numbers game. So I'm roughly marketing out to 100,000 DJs, and even off of 1% of that, if you can follow the scope. Basically, uh, it's about to be a good year. So come with me. Um, hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, we 100% with you. Not only we with you, the winning team, the 300 winning team members, are all going to be talking to you at their own anointed appointed time, by God. With that being said, one more time, go out your direct contact information. They need to know. This is our sponsorship break, y'all. Then we're going into our commercial break. Y'all grab y'all popcorn. We, we got the Black Panther people in the building. All right. Y'all can reach me at 757-581-8335. Uh, Tip Spins app at gmail.com or info at tipspins.com. It's info at tipspins.com. So primary email address. Move around, move around, move around. Hey, hey, now move around, move around, move around. Hey, hey, now move around, move around, move around. Hey, hey, now move around, move around, move around. Hey, hey, now move around, move around, move around. Hey, hey, now move around, move around, move around. Hey, h
Hey, this is General Heat, and it's time to unite all of our people from around the country together to save the children and feed the hungry here in America. Put It Down Entertainment's Bo Jones sings his heart out on his latest single, Save the Children. America, we need to work together. There are hungry adults and children all over the country, from city to city, from state to state. Let's save the children and feed the hungry here. And for more information about Save the Children, Feed the Hungry campaign, you can contact Don Jr. CEO at 818-358-5722. Calling all record labels, writers, R&B singers, gospel singers, and entertainers. Are you looking for beat, mixing, and mastering, and the best production at the best rate? Call Geronimo Bill at 317-987-8365. That's Geronimo Bill, 317-987-8365. For more details, log on to wiseliferecords.com. W-Y-Z-E-L-Y-F-E-R-E-C-O-R-D. Com. Wise Life Records is your full-service music and production studio. Wise Life Records has everything you need for your next hit single or album. Call Geronimo Bill. In this global marketplace, your brand, product, or service has to stand out. The Internet has changed our lives forever. Everything you need is at your fingertips. Just click or tap, and you're there. Now is the time to put a new image on your company. Our website design professionals have been satisfying clients for over years. Website starting at $299. Web brand consulting $199. Web hosting $99 per year. For all your website needs, call Don Jr. CEO 818 358 5722. Greetings in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. This is Pastor Don Jr., CEO. You're tuned in to the Entertainment Worldwide Network. And just to give out his proper information, and, and uh, Mr. Will Flux is Judge Joe Brown TV. And with that being said, uh, I got to go back out to uh, Judge Joe Brown because he's very important to the winning team. He, he has a lot of wisdom and knowledge, and, and knowledge and wisdom don't work unless we apply it. So I want to open up his line. If you could, Judge Joe Brown, I want to give you like uh, 60 seconds, and I want you to really drop some knowledge on my winning team because at the end of the day, we can't make it if our elders on the show is out. You got the floor, my brother. All right. What exactly are you want to do? You want to get into today? Give me a clue, so I just don't take off, you know, and get in the ride. I know you got you got sumo and all this. <laughs> okay, let me give you some direction. It's like I want a glass of water, but you're the whole ocean. Uh, what I would like to have today is um, I want you to talk about camaraderie. Uh, you've been a part of several situations. You've been in the army. You you you've been in a lot of places and did a lot of things. Can you talk about working together? Because you hear a lot of names and numbers, and we all across the country, but we can't make it without people like you giving us that wisdom. So again, if you could tell us about working together, even though we don't know each other. Okay. See, one of the things you have to do when you work together is there are some concepts you have to keep in mind. You have to deal with each other fair and square. One, two, everybody is supposed to be dealing with the agreement in good faith. Now, as a pragmatic matter, there's some people that are going to work harder than others. There's some that are going to be idea people. There's some people that will be detailed people. Some So somebody's got to be in charge and organize this whole thing, all right? Next thing, you're going to have to deal with folks' ego. Uh, that can be a good thing and a bad thing. Uh, you just kind of sort of have to match the person up with what they can do best if you want to take advantage of the ego thing. But then don't get them in a situation where they're competing with somebody uh, to the point where the ego gets in the way. If you're going to be the person in charge, remember, a lot can be done if you don't need to take credit for it. So you're a good executive, a good boss, a good person in charge, 
if you work the people under you and give them credit for what they do and try to maximize what you can get out of them. And then it helps to have a common goal. And then beware of people who are trying to hustle it or pimp the whole thing where it's just the point where they can get an advantage monetarily out of what happens. Basic. Woo! Woo! You got me on my Rick Flair mode. That was, wow, that was perfect, Judge. If you could, man, tell them how they can contact you and let them know what you're working on. We got people's outlines are flooded, man. I can't get to all the numbers today, but this is the first time some people are hearing you for the first time, and I'm seeing some people just checking in. So if you could, one more time, tell them who you are. I know who you are, but tell them who you are, what city and state you're calling in from, and let them know everything you're working on and how the winning team can help you. All right, this is Judge Joe Brown, for those who just tuned in. You can get me on Twitter where I try to drop a few little lines here and there about the way the world works and why and some history. And I have, can be found on Twitter at Judge Joe Brown TV. Joe, Judge Joe Brown at Judge Joe Brown TV. They don't do the blue check thing really anymore, but that is me. And essentially, what I'm trying to do is finish up some books I'm working on. Maybe I'll be back on TV. I'm going to do a little radio. But otherwise, I'm sort of semi-retired. So the old man is trying to pass on a few things that he picked up on over the years. Uh, maybe that'll help somebody. But we've got to get our thing together. There's going to be a new paradigm shift in about 30 years that some people out there can take advantage of. And I know it's going to be too late for me, but we will find that America will no longer be a majority white population. We'll no longer have a majority white population. So we've got to get into the idea of setting up some coalitions, and we need to start that right now. There are other, what we used to call back in the 60s, third world people out there that could use the help and we can use theirs. There are other ethnic and racial minorities out there that could be brought on board as uh, co-runners in this project to deliver justice and equity to the population. So there are things we need to work on, and I'm trying to do that or help anyway or facilitate it. You already started because you already dropping the knowledge with the pastor, Don Jr., CEO. And I'm a very much, when you said you got some people that's detailed, I'm detailed. You said a thinker, I'm a thinker. You're a doer, I'm all that. So that, that's why we got all these people here. <laughs> We're not coming here Way to play to and waste time. <laughs> that's why I need you. I'm glad you're checking every Wednesday with us, man. Please keep coming back because the more you come back, that wisdom is shared. And, um, my my production team hasn't got me the playback of last week's show with you where you ran it. You killed it. Oh my God, you killed it. But uh, we want to get that to you. But it's, it's actually in production, but it's being edited right now. So uh, I really right. appreciate you. Stay with us, my brother. We got a lot more people. Um, please take notes. Uh, with that being said, I'm going all the way out to my guy Texas Cali, Texas Cali, Texas Cali. I said your name three times. You got to be here. I said it three times. You got to be here. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what's going on, everybody? Glad to be on the winning team. Shout out to Don Jr. CEO, Pastor CEO. Hey, I appreciate it, uh, you know, having me online. Uh, shout out to Judge Joe Brown. I watch the show all the time. One of my favorites. And uh, everybody else that's on here online listening in the win on that's on the winning team too. Uh, what I do, I do production. I'm a producer. Um, I help a lot of the young talent, you know, people that um, – they don't have the money sometimes to pay for studio time, give them a chance to see what they're working with, and give them some advice afterwards. Sometimes they uh, stay with me. Sometimes they choose otherwise. But uh, I also have a television show that I'm getting back up running. It's called the IND Show. You can find that on um, YouTube, uh, my old shows and stuff that I did do. Uh, what I did with that, also I was using uh, independent artists that was freshly coming out. Uh, it didn't matter how the video looked. I just put it on and give them advice about the video and other feedback that I get from other people, too. And the majority of them is in better places. And all I do is go back and look at it and say, I had them on my show. <laughs> but that's a good thing for um, them and a good thing for me to let me know that I did do something enough to know that I can help a lot of um, artists get out and do their thing. And... Um, like I said, I'm a producer. I'm also an artist, too. 
So uh, I ain't been on show lately other than last year. Um, starting back up, I'm, right now I'm putting songs on uh, mixtapes right now. They were trap DJs and stuff right now. They drop in mixtapes like every other every week, probably twice a week. You know, I just got to catch up. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm glad to be on the show and on the winning team. And you can reach me uh, at T-E-X-A-C-A-L-I-254. You can find that on YouTube. You can find that on Twitter, uh, My uh, the Gmail, the IND show at gmail.com. If you want to message me, anything, you can reach me on Twitter, the same, the IND, the IND show at, gmail, at gmail.com and Facebook. Hey, man, hey, man, hey, man. Hey, hey, Texacali, man, I, I got to put you on the spot, man. We deep, man. There's so many people, and I haven't got to all the lines. And we got Mr. Uh, Carl Ulysses, our actual keynote speaker in the building. We're going to him next. But I got to put you on the spot, man. Tell everybody on the winning team about the growth because you've seen about 5,000 different versions of the winning team. <laughs> but tell them what you've seen. Man, I've seen, I've seen the growth. I've seen the growth, uh, what it was, what, about, what, three years? In what, about three years or two, three, mm-hmm. two, three years? Three years, I see it. it. Yeah. And, you know, they said it takes about five years before you get your business right, which you did it in three. <laughs> and, man, Hello. I'm glad to. Uh, Hello. Uh, Hello. I know that it's it, 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 a long time to get there when you run your own business, but you got there in three, man. It expired me, man, and I appreciate you, you know, you know, we're both reaching out to each other, you know. You know, I have my little, you know, my little falls and stuff, and I'm just now getting back on my feet. And you've been helping me on the way, getting back on my feet, man. I appreciate, um, you know, praying for my family and stuff because, you know, I just had lost my uncle last week and stuff. My mom lost a brother. So, you know, so i kind of been back in the way just a little bit, getting my mind right. And here I am. We're back on it. Uh, Hello. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm right here, brother. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm right here, brother. I, I, you, I mean, you touched me, man. When I say you touched me, I, I, I was like, wow, man. Sometimes I pray for so many people. I'm like Jesus, and I'm moving yeah. so fast. And then there's that one that just grabbed my garment and stopped. I'm like, hold on. And that's what you did. And there's hundreds and hundreds and thousands of people I meet every day. So I love each and every last one of y'all. I'm going to put you on pause. With that being said, we're going out to St. Louis, Missouri, to the superstar, superstar, superstar recruiter. He's got jobs, 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 jobs. Mr. Green, you now have the floor, sir. Everybody doing welcome, welcome to the West Wide Network. Thank you, thank you, Pastor, Pastor, Pastor Don, Pastor Don. Well, gangs, I have some great news for you and everybody in your family, everybody from 18 to 50, guaranteed 400 to $600 a week, cash in hand. We pay for your hotel, meals, lodging, and training for 20 years. The website is www.advantage20x. That's A-D-V-A-N-A-G-E-2-0-X. Or call me directly at every code 314-562. 6450. So this is your chance to live like Drake. 314-562-6450. That's 314-562-6450. Thank you we so much, your- Mr. Green. You know, we thank you so much. Please stand by. I'm going to put you on pause. We're going to our keynote speaker. With that being said, I don't want to go into his story because it's so deep. Uh, introducing Mr. Carl Ulysses from the Black Panther. You got it, my brother. Okay, Introduce yes, yourself sir. properly. Hello, everyone. This is Carl Ulysses, and uh, I was one of the tailors on Black Panther. Thank you so much for having me today. Hey, man. Well, um, I'm glad you're here on the Winning Team Wednesdays, and I, I do apologize with my tardiness for opening your line, but we have so many Winning Team members. We was in our roll call session. Uh, I, I want you to break down how – the uh, the preparation process goes down when you're putting together that custom outfit and kind of give them a little bit of your background on, on, on how you got started because even though you're doing what you're doing now, you have to have a lot of prep work with the kind of work you do. You can't just grab a needle and do it. You got to have your mindset and then you hit it. Can you kind of right, right. illustrate that to everybody? Yes. So I got started um, doing tailoring for films back in 20. 20- 13 down here in Atlanta, Georgia. And since then I've done probably about a little over 25 films 
So I was the head tailor for All Eyes on Me. I was the head tailor for Detroit. Uh, I worked on Miracles from Heaven. I tailored for Captain America Civil War. Um, I just finished up Shaft and the Bobby Brown story as well. Um, th- that'll be coming out this September. Um, but I did all of those things, and they led up to Black Panther. And Black Panther has definitely been the uh, most challenging film that I've ever tailored for in my career, but also the most rewarding. Um, and to give you a little bit of back, a little bit of background um, on what goes on and how we, you know, kind of prep to get those costumes on film, uh, we, we actually were working in the warehouse for about five to six months. Um, this was maybe a couple months before the film Black Panther actually started. But we also made garments while the production was going on and while it was being filmed. So we had a big warehouse uh, down in Atlanta, a little south of the airport down here. And we had anywhere from six to maybe 12 tailors all at one time. We started out with about six. So uh, Ruth Carter, who was the amazing costume designer and came up with all the concepts and everything that she met with Marvel, uh, she basically met with them, met with Ryan Coogler. They created illustrations, and then she brought those illustrations to us. Um, and us being the team of tailors. And then at that time, she basically just delegated and gave us different projects and said, you know, I had, I made some things for T'Chaka, who was Black Panther's father um, at the opening of the film. Young T'Chaka comes in, he has a purple drape uh, and also purple kente cloth. So that was one piece. That was the first piece that I started on. She gave that to me and all of us had our own cutting tables and beside our cutting table, she would come around and set the fabric out. And, uh, if anyone has seen kind of has seen, um, project runway project. project. Yeah. I know where you're going, baby. I'm 100%. I, I'm all over the entertainment industry, baby. Let's get it was kind of like project runway on steroids. So, um, you know, she set the fabric down, she would come by and talk to each one of us and then we would get, get started. And at different points throughout, uh, our making, we would have uh, Ryan Coogler, who was the director of Black Panther. He would come in with his team and just look at what we had and um, tell us how he liked it, tell us if he wanted us to make additions to it or if he wanted us to tweak it a little bit to make sure that it flowed correctly on film and also looked authentic. So um, we had a great team. The set director would come in just to see how the set would mesh with the costumes. And then we also, um, Ruth Carter, she had, uh, the designer, she had an open door policy so we could go to her and talk about um, things and how we interpret these pictures and illustrations. Uh, it was just totally amazing. It was amazing, breathtaking. I can hear it all over your voice. Man. I, you, by you being our keynote speaker, I'm going to spend a little time with you. Uh, I, I'm, I'm grilling you because at the end of the day, man, I don't get these opportunities ever, meaning that um, sometimes you get people a part of history and you don't get them in history while it's happening. With that being said, uh, this movie has changed your life and it's changed the whole state of Georgia, but you see the winning team. What do you see from just sitting in the background as a fly on the wall that, that's been going on today, right now? What do you see as positive about the winning team? You got the floor. Uh, just just bringing, bringing us together and bringing everyone together so that uh, we can change others' lives. A, a lot of times we don't know how we want our lives changed. A lot of times we have visions of how we see our life, but that's not actually how it's going to um, – to come out to play. So I think the winning team is is wonderful because it puts people in contact when we don't even know that we needed to be in contact uh, with those individuals in order to get where we want to be in the future. So um, kudos to the winning team. Hey, man, you got to tell them about the storefront, man, and and tell the people why they need unique stuff. Now, I've been in the entertainment industry for over 20 years. When I was 
Three months old, I was carried into a radio station. I live this business, but it, it, it's oh yeah, man. I, I've been doing it for a long time, man. I, 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 let me just let me give you some accolades. Let me tell you some stuff you don't know, and I don't know who's on the line, but maybe nobody else knows this. This is stuff that I've done. Um, oh wow. Notable clients of campaign, the 2008 Barack Obama presidential campaign, Turner Law, the American Basketball Association, and I've been in touch with H-Dub every day. We're about to make the, uh, the new ABA Gold League. That's going down in, um, in June in Las Vegas. More details about that to come. Uh, T.O. Jackson, T.I., New York Times bestselling author, author, Omar Tyree, Easy Mo B, A.B. Money, Resurrection of Hope Ministry, Dave the Jeweler, Turner Law, the Christian Business Network, Lenny Williams, Dietrich Haddon, I said Turner Law twice, so that's a typo. Uh, Blake Shelton, Gospel Music Hall of Fame, Vicky Winans, Philly Freedom Project, Advantage 20X, The Wonder Cleaner, and that job is real. If y'all don't know, that job is real. I knocked on doors for four years and made a lot of money. Uh, the Bay Area, Bay Area Gamblers football team, Jermaine Dupree, uh, DJ Red Alert, J. Clean, a club nouveau, less spaces, skin care, waxing, and then I helped trick daddy out when he got his deal with Atlantic. The whole point that I'm making is I'm 400 EPKs, 700 websites, 2,000 TV commercials. So I say all that to say, brother, I'm so happy that you're here and being here by me doing all this work and being everywhere in the entertainment industry. It's hard to get fashion people in here and fashion and music go together right. as Puff Daddy. Without fashion music, is nothing. Without the, you, you got to look nice while you dance when you shaking that body. That's why I had to break it down like that because you got to be in that scene in Atlanta. If you in your scene and it's too below Mississippi, you want to be the hottest thing in the club. They want to. Uh, uh, I love what May said. Uh, they made the dress code while they want to know why I got my clothes on. You know, because of me, they made the dress code. You know, and I'm in a three piece suit every day. So uh, let me get it. Let me get. Let me get it from the OG, Mister Ulysses. If, if you could. Tell them why they need to get some custom garments from the OG, triple OG. And then not only that, I got movie from the, I got stuff made from the same guy that did Black Panther stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, come on, man. You got it. <laughs> well, uh, yes, I'm down here in Atlanta, Georgia. I just opened up my own showroom uh, back in August of 2017. So I do, uh, I make custom clothing for movies. I make custom clothing for people and individuals um, also make custom suits, custom shirts, uh, custom shoes, custom jeans, whatever you need, uh, you can come here and uh, receive that from me. I also do uh, alterations oh, as well. I know, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. When you said that, I got to stop you right there, and I please apologize, but I have to listen to the Holy Spirit, and I'm sorry to cut you off, but how can you help these people launch their fashion lines? Because I'm tired of these guys coming to me with their fashion lines <laughs> as a T-shirt. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see your fashion line. Now, mind you, my wife consults little girls about fashion. That's her job. So I got all this fashion stuff on my left ear, and you come in my right ear with a T-shirt and saying, this is my fashion line. I'm going to make a million. Off. Come on, man. Come on, son. I mean, can, can you tell them how it is launching a fashion line? I mean, keep it 100 with them. Yeah, well, um, you know, it, it takes a lot of preparation. Uh, you definitely have to do your research, uh, know who your competitors are so that you can put your best foot forward. Um, so it takes a, a whole lot of work. Now, I didn't plan to actually open up my showroom, but I had already done the work just in case within the last eight years. I had already done the work um, for when, you know, God opened the doors and and, and got me ready but my story is I was supposed to move into this location with two other designers and we were supposed to move in here May 1st of 2017 the day we were supposed to move in I gave them a call and they just said we can no longer uh, go into business with you so at that time I you know I, I dropped to my knees prayed thank God for everything that he had brought my way and um and basically said, you know, if this isn't for me, then please remove it from my heart. But if it is and you open the doors, I'll do everything in my power to make sure that um, I bring you all the glory. And here I am almost a year later, and, you know, God has done some amazing things in my life, and he's used me um, in some amazing ways. And I'm just grateful that, you know, grateful for the ride, you know. So, um 
It's been great. Mr. Ulysses, man, I really love your spirit. I love what you're doing. Thank you for gracing our show. Do not leave. I have to pay the bills. At the same time, when you're paying the bills, when we come back, we got a lot of people uh, still on the line that they didn't get a chance to speak, and now that they know that you're available, they're going to be shooting shots at you. So I'm going to keep your line open. Just switch, you just mute yourself right now, but I'm going to leave your line open. So if anybody says has anything to say to the tailor for the Black Panther, all eyes on me, uh, uh, one of my favorite movies, Civil America. That was a good movie, bro. You did a great job in those costumes. But uh, with that being said, we're going to have a brief commercial break. My name is Pastor Don Jr., CEO of the Entertainment Worldwide Network. The call-in number is 712-775-7031. Anybody on the sound of my voice that got a text message that's on the line, please put this on your Twitter. We just heard from Judge Joe Brown, and you can follow him on Twitter. And, and I love how he said it. The world is changing. Everybody used to want to be verified. They stopped doing that, but we got the verified real. Judge Joe Brown TV at Twitter. We got tipspins.com, the app. Everybody is doing a lot of stuff, and we can't do it without you. I am Pastor Don Jr., CEO, Entertainment Worldwide Network. We'll be right back. Yes, this is Lenny Williams. I'm out here in uh, Oakland, California. I'm Lisa Ray. I sign on uh, Payment with the NWA. Dr. Dre and Easy E. It's Just Will, Black Pearl Entertainment artist, newly signed to I Am Jesus Records. You're listening to the Entertainment Worldwide Network with Don Jr., CEO. Coming to you live. This is business, so pay attention. Yo, it's your boy LV the Slap Thing. And I'm over here chilling with my guy, the plug, Don Jr., CEO, Entertainment Worldwide Network Radio. You dig? What's good, homie? It's your boy Big D. It's your folks checking traps. This your piece, Captain Mac. I'll let your boy Boss Lena. It's your boy Brick Boy Rico. It's your boy Joe Dirt. Hey, yo, what up? It's your boy Buddha, a.k.a. Buddy Mouse. Yo, what's good? This is Vip Percy Jones. And Big Cell is now in your area. Yo, this your boy, Mr. Hamilton. It's your girl, Lady Duet. This is just Richard Gates. This is your bro, JT, Mr. Guaranteed the Rick. Yo, this your dude, Insane G. What up? This your boy, Jihad, a.k.a. J. Hood. Yo, this your folks, Young Birds. Yo, this your folks, GB Cooley. Yo, this is Mike G. Jungle. Hey, what it do? It's your boy, Size Money. This your boy, Big Chad Domenko. Bye-bye. Salute the big dog. This your boy, Jay Futuristic. This your folk, Lil Raheem. You did. I am Geronimo Bills. Off the deep end. Getting blessings. Wise Life Records. And you're listening to the Entertainment Worldwide Network with Don Jr., the CEO, coming to you live. Hey, what it do? This is Charlie Boy, the versatile Charlie. You're listening to the hip hot, 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 hottest radio station. Hottest radio station. Fashion is so seductive live.com. Log on to so seductive live.com. So seductive live has the best apparel from Gucci, Prada, Fendi, Guess, Rolex, Nike, Tiata Michelle, True Religion, Louis Vuitton. Greetings. I'm Miss K, CEO and founder of So Seductive Shoes and Fashion. I started my company to keep you informed. Log on to so seductive live.com. I believe in fashion. So, so seductive is fun and needs to be seen. I want to inspire people just like you. I want someone to look at me and say, because because of you, I didn't give up. Log on to SoSeductiveLive.com. I am Miss K, CEO and founder of So Seductive Shoes and Fashion. You can find me on your favorite social network at Keisha Miss CEO. Log on to SoSeductiveLive.com. There's a lot to learn in the music business, and without a teacher, it gets even harder and very costly. Introducing the Green Dragon Record Breaker Blueprint. Don Jr., CEO of the Entertainment Worldwide Network, has put together a detailed book to take your career to the next level in the entertainment business. The Green Dragon Record Breaking Blueprint will teach you the do's and don'ts of the entertainment industry, starting from the beginning to the end. The Green Dragon Record Breaking Blueprint covers the topics of business plan, logo design, CD design layout, sales, radio airplay, CD marketing strategies, 
massive emailing, CD sales one sheet, press kit, media kit, online media kit, internet marketing, MP3 online distribution, hip hop blog sites, hip hop magazines, hip hop DVDs, mixtapes, street teams, music publishing and royalties, music lawyers, tour booking, and more. The Green Dragon Record Breaking Blueprint is available only by contacting Don Jr., CEO, at 818. 818- 358-5722 or email CEO at gmail.com Do you need more exposure? Do you need more fans? Are you planning to be wealthy and successful in business? The 365 Days of Radio Campaign is a business training program teaching you how to build your brand, business, product, or service. How to meet and network with people in other cities. How to make connections with other business owners. And how to talk about your business on an open platform. All the tools you need before you speak to investors, advertisers, and or sponsors. Are you ready to receive money and make it to the next level? Education is the key to success. And experience is the best teacher. Learn from the comfort of your own personal remote location. The 365-day radio campaign is a business training program. For business training, tuition, schedules, and fees, please call Pastor Don Jr., CEO, and the winning team at 818-358-5722. That's right, Pastor Don Jr., CEO of the winning team at 818-358-5722. You're listening to the Entertainment Worldwide Network. My name is Pastor Don Jr., CEO of the Entertainment Worldwide Network. Follow me at Don Jr., CEO, uh, on all your social media. Thank you, Judge Joe Brown. Really appreciate that. I got my wife, the first lady of the winning team, Miss K. Uh, we, we just heard from our teller, the fashion designer. I was talking about all the wonderful things you do with the kids. Yeah, I couldn't help but bring you in. If you could, come to the line. Please tell everybody who you are, what city and state you're calling in from, and let know everybody know all the wonderful things that you're doing behind the scenes and front of the scenes and the rest. You got it, baby. Hey, everybody. This is Miss K, first lady of the Entertainment Worldwide Network. I just want to jump on and say I really appreciate everybody that came to the show. I appreciate our special guests. Um, I just want to say that you did wonderful things with the outfits and the costumes from the movie, so I really put my hat off to you because you did an excellent job. Like some of those outfits I would like to have for myself. And as far as everybody else that's on today, I just want to thank you for always supporting the winning team, being there. I just want to say thank you to all the loyal people that have done work with us. We really appreciate you. Um, I just want to say thank you once again and enjoy the rest of the show. You guys have a good evening. I love you, baby. That's my wife. That's my wife, y'all. Y'all can't have it. That's my wife. Okay. Let's go ahead and keep it moving. Um, We're going back out to our call line. Some people, uh, we, we're on a short roll call, and we're going to go back out to our keynote speaker. Uh, some people didn't get a chance to get the chime in. Uh, we're going out to eight. Um, okay, this is how the roll call works. We say the first six digits of your number. You announce yourself. You tell us who you are, what city and state you're calling in from. And remember, we got major keynote speakers in the building. We're going out to 813-577. You're live on the Entertainment Worldwide Network. Who do we have on the line? Hey, what's going on there, Pastor Don Cody? This is the one and only Richie Rich calling all the way in from Tampa, Florida. Glad to be a part of your network tonight. Doing some amazing things, brother. I watched you grow from a little baby, boy. You're like my nephew. So I'm definitely going to support everything you do. And you got the Florida connection. Everybody tuned in on my team. They should be listening in. And um, down here in Florida, man, working with this music entertainment business. Been doing that for about 30 years. Um, we're also launching new brands, products. We got energy drinks. We got water. We got Moscato. The same things that you're talking about, Don, we're pursuing, but we're looking at pursuing these things with a winning team. Um, so 
So like I say, it's just right now is the perfect time. I appreciate you calling me just the other day to inform me about what you had going on. And like I say, it's, it's just a blessing right now, man. I'm just I'm just rejoicing in your moment, brother. We're here to support you, so it's not mine, man. I, I can't do it without you. You know, nobody soap don't work without two hands. You can have one hand and try to wash your hands, it won't work. You need two. <laughs> hey, hey, we I all a family, man. We we have a church and my church is getting paid. Let's get it, Barry. Yeah. Hey, please stay with me, man. We got so many callers, man. We, my lines are flooded. To Alaska. They calling us from the future. Uh Mr. Lonnie Holly, man, I apologize. I've been meaning to get back to you. Our lines are hot, flaming. Uh, if you could, uh, once, while you got the whole floor, please give love to my uh, wonderful wife at the same time. Tell everybody about this wealth building. Shout out to all the uh, keynote speakers. We got two keynote speakers. We got Judge Joe Brown and Mr. Carl Ulysses. We ain't playing. <laughs> I am. Let's go. I'm, I'm, I'm truly humbled to be on this call. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Judge Joe Brown. Uh, uh, I, that wow! I wrote down everything you said. I have I have all the notes, and I'm go back in and uh, create a product around it. I too served in the military, and I understand taking care of your men and, and your equipment, and they will take care of you. Uh, also, to Carl Ulysses, uh, Bowen, I want to show much gratitude and appreciation for what you are doing for our people, for the community for our culture at large and showing us that we are more than sagging pants. And um, even though that is a, a nice part of a certain type of culture, the culture at large in the everyday setting, we need you, brother, and we appreciate everything that you are doing for us. My name is Lonnie Holly, and I live in Bethel, Alaska, as well as Lakewood, Washington. I split my time between the two. In the meantime and between time, I'm constantly in various other places, Austin, Dallas, Houston, uh, Florida, Minnesota, uh, Jap uh, Japan, Germany, the UK. And as I move around, I see a need for people to have a system of wealth where it is as easy for a two-year-old that plants a watermelon seed and it grows up with a little sun and water as it is for you to be able to be uh, financially productive in the endeavors that you should choose to. I'm a Genesis 2.10 man where a river went uh, out of Eden and divided into four heads. So I believe in multiple streams of income, and therefore I put together a system known as the Wealth Activating System. And this system of income will be as easy for your children to use as it is for you to use, and just with a little bit of work and applied knowledge, we'll be able to change the financial status of a lot of people. And um, I am here with Pastor Don Jr., who's upsetting things, uh, disrupting things, as they say today, and changing the world with this winning team. I love what I'm hearing, brother, and I am in. I appreciate it. And, uh, again, I'm, I'm, I'm humble, and I turn the floor back over to you. I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much, brother. You really mean a lot because I, I'm up at all hours of the day, but you're up hours before me. <laughs> and I'll be, I'll be like, you might be like, go to sleep, and I'll be like, no, nah, Lonnie's up. If he's up, he's an hour ahead of me. He's ahead of the race. I don't like that. Nobody can be here. You know, I'm sorry. I, I'm knee on the matrix, man. Hey, I love you, bro. And it, 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 it's, come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on, baby. Come on. Yeah, daddy making a million over here. Come on. Yeah, daddy making a million. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's real, y'all. And I watch my daughter every day. I watch my daughter every day. Don't let her stop me. That's okay. That's okay. We're going to take a brief commercial break and a pause for the calls. Yeah, it, it's real. You listen to the Entertainment Worldwide Network, Pastor Don Jr., CEO. Be right back. The man, the 
ultimate entertainer, the icon. His name is Septimius the Great. He is the best kept secret in the industry. From the big screen to your mobile device, Septimius the Great is on a mission to give the world music for every emotion. A true trendsetter like Kanye West, Will I Am, LMFAO, and Psy, just to name a few. Septimius the Great is a three time award winner and he is taking the music business by storm. Septimius the Great is ready to write your next hit. Host your next event. Call 202-688-5729. That number again is 202-688-5729. And visit www.septimiusthegreats.com. I am fashion. 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 Woodery Productions, Imperial Entertainment, Celebrity Management Team, and KFSM Radio personally invites you to join us each and every Monday for Celebrity Talk Monday. <laughs> That's right, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, each and every Monday. Join 2D and DJ M. Nunes for Celebrity Talk Monday. Call in to 155-739-1285 and talk to celebrities on Celebrity Talk Monday. That's right, we have the hottest artists and business professionals with news, reviews, and question and answer sessions only here on KFS and Radio. Join two deep if you get Nunes each and every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Celebrity Talk Monday. You listen to the Entertainment Worldwide Network. My name is Pastor Don Jr., CEO of the Entertainment Worldwide Network, and um, you just seen history in the making. I've done over 4,000 radio shows. That was the first time my daughter ever woke up. My daughter's two years old, but I was three months carried into a radio station, and what's happening here is uh, I played with checks as a kid, and I have 300 winning team members, and each and every last one of you are important, and I'm leading by example by uh, shouts out to the dual parent households. Uh, no matter how much me and Miss K go through, we got this network, we stay there. We like them uh, living color. <laughs> it's just like we still together. So when that door closes, it's like the water rolls. So no matter what goes on, I'm where I'm supposed to be. So I'm not tripping on nobody about their kids, their family. As a leader, I love each and every last one of y'all, but as a leader, I'm telling y'all right now, uh, I was molested. It was bad, and it changed me, and I'm not letting my daughter go through that. So I'm going to sacrifice everything I have for this winning team, but everything stops when it comes to her. So as long as we know that, we all good. But that being said, we're going to go back out to our call lines. i got to get back out to our keynote speaker. Got to go out to the judge first because he's very important to me. Uh, Mr. Judge Joe Brown, you're hearing everything going on. Can you give us? Can you give us some more wisdom, man? You, I can't just have you here with all this wisdom, man. It, 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 it's like I got a brick of gold, but I need to value it. Uh, I'm going to give you a topic. I'm going to give you a real good topic. And uh, the brother was talking about the clothing and everything, about the sagging pants. Appreciate you, uh, uh, Mr. Lonnie. That was a great segue. If you could, and you and Judge Joe Brown is 100,000% on manhood. Being a man, I'm raising my daughter. So I got to work even harder. But uh, can you kind of talk about how we can instill these values in the next generation? Because that's what you're doing to me. Can you kind of well, talk about right. that? Well, all right. Uh, clothing, very interesting topic. The clothes say a lot about the person that's wearing them. One of the things that our people has not picked up, have not picked up on yet is that clothes can be camouflaged. Just like in the military, they have the obvious camouflage. So 
they don't stand out in the terrain and become a target for somebody that you don't want to be targeted by. Well, you're in a certain place of town and you're walking around sagged and bagged with your baseball cap flattened at a misdemeanor or felony angle and you've got a couple of joints on you, that's you know, that that's that's jail time. You're bringing it on yourself. Come on. Come on. I tell Come on. people about suits and ties. Man, I ain't, well, I said it's urban camouflage. You know, cops got all kinds of problems trying to establish reasonable suspicion for stopping somebody in a suit and tie and briefcase, walking around with your shirt out, you know, looking a little, you know, we glam it up, but you still look like you ought to be pushing a grocery cart with some lawn bags in it. Well, then you just justified it. It's like driving around 245 in the morning. You want to see how the other part of town lives, and you've got a hit a taillight busted, registration two months out of uh date and somebody's talking about oh man hey man pass the joint that's some guaranteed jail time so we have to get our dressing and our attire together i appreciate the brother who did the wardrobe for black panther even if i'm not a fan of that movie and we discussed that before but it's a good thing might as well get in on some of that business now the big problem is if you get into some major production who are you going to get to make the clothes and the reliability of your manufacturing staff. Uh, the thing about sagged and bagged that the brother talked about, well, okay, what does that say? Well, you know, the gay thing has gotten quite popular these days, particularly in places like Atlanta and some other big cities, L.A., New York. So if you want to walk around looking gay, sagged and bagged, I guess that's your business. But a lot of these young brothers don't understand where the, the fad came from. First time I saw it was back in 1980. I was doing an interview with an inmate at the main penitentiary up here in Nashville, Tennessee, and it was on a late appeal. So I'm filling stuff out on the yard with him because the air conditioning broke down in the attorney the inmate visitation room. is like 105 degrees. So I see this dude sagged and bagged. I'd never seen it before. I asked the guy what he was doing, and... Well, I guess it isn't too bad to say here. He said, oh, Lawyer Brown, dude with his pants like that, man. See, like some of us up in here doing a long time in life, man. Like, we got everything we need except soft booties. So, like, we making dude man pussy, man. Like, that's a signal to everybody to turn him out. You know, it's low slung. So, like, over them trees on the cell block, it's like when you see him, bend him down, pull him down, and get down. And if he try to run, they fall down to his ankle. He got booty up in the air, and that baggy shirt he's got on, we make him take his pants and drawers off when he's up in the cell block, and that's his that's his dress. See, we already done made dudes some jewelry up metal shop, and we got his, uh, you know, Jamal's baby sis sent a care package with rouge, mascara, eyeshadow, plastic nails, lipstick, and uh, rouge, and we going to girl dude all the way out. Oh. So, I saw it next a few years wow. later. I was watching TV with another, uh, with a lady friend of mine, and I think it was either MTV or BET, and this group crisscross came on dressed like that, and I saw, oh, man, looking like man pussy. Ain't that something? Wow. Then wow. about 1990, it became this man pussy belongs to somebody strong, don't touch him. Wow. So I look at all the young brothers walking around looking like man pussy. Yeah, man, lower the sag, the cooler to do. No, you just look like your butt's wide open for somebody to go take <laughs> what they want to. Hey, I mean, hey, hey Mr. Yo, dude, hold on, so hold on, Judge Joe, 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 your honor, please stand by. Uh, uh, Mr. Ulysses, come on down, say some stuff. Hey, Judge Joe, hey, y'all together, <laughs> if y'all can interact, because he, he says some stuff, man, and I know you feel the same way. I know you feel the same way. <laughs> As, as much as that, it was a little funny, but it's all, it's true. He's speaking the truth, you know. And um, and that's that's one of the things that I I uh, go around when I do speak uh, in front of high schools or middle schools when I am giving them seminars on dress for success. We we basically embrace that. Um, yes. Uh, I guess trend that's going on, especially in those middle schools and high schools. They don't know how they do it. They think they're doing it because they look cool. No, but when I tell them where it started at, 
and why it came about, then it kind of changes their outlook on it. And, um, you know, we talk about some things about how they have to grow up, you know, and how no one is going to want to hire you if that's how you're carrying on. No one is going to want to, you know, no one is going to want to be around you at a certain age, you know. And we start talking about these issues, and, you know, we, we, I think we've actually created some change within some high schools and some middle schools that we have, you know, done some seminars in. But um, what he's saying is, is he's speaking the truth. He's speaking the truth. Hey. He can definitely hear you, man. Send him your shots and your love, man, because I know you watch him on TV. I watched him all the time. Oh, yeah. I feel good. Come on. I've been watching him, you know, for years. So, Judge Joe Brown, we love what you do. Thank you so much. We support you, and God bless you. God bless you. All right, brother. Much appreciated. With that, with that being said, we're about to go ahead and keep it going on the Woody team. I believe both of y'all lines open. Please mute yourselves. Uh, I'm going to go out to some more callers because we're really deep today. And I, I, we got another sponsorship break. Got to pay the bills. Uh, call it 502-299. Call it 502-299. You're live on the Entertainment Worldwide Network. Please announce yourself who you are, what city and state you're calling in from. You're kicking off a roll call. Hello, this is Melissa Yelverton. I'm calling from Louisville, Kentucky. Um, I am a radio show host. An online radio show host of a show called Say That on Manifest Destiny, which I am CEO. I am um, honored to be here. Thank you for the invite, Pastor. Um, I've been taking notes, uh, so I'm. Uh, it's very informative, and I am very inspired. Okay, I got to stop you right there. I got to stop you right there. Now, tell everybody on the phone how many times I hit you up on Facebook before you responded. <laughs> Tell them, tell them, because I I need to tell people I'm Neo in the Matrix. When I say that, they don't understand it. He's hit me up several times, um, and I've been researching and thinking about it and prayed about it, and um, when I got the hit today, I decided to go ahead and uh, call in. So here I am. (laughs) Okay. Now, one more time, one more time, tell everybody about your poetry, because I love your poetry. That's why I was hitting you up. I didn't know you was a radio host. But your poetry is what, what, what actually really made me change. I am a poet and writer and vocalist. Uh, I'm currently working on a spoken word CD. I have um, one track on uh, Amazon right now, and I'm currently uh, I, I have a track ready for the CD already. Kind of posted it a little bit. I uh, want to kind of hide it so um, I can go ahead and add it to the CD. So that's what I'm working on. Keep All right, going. last thing. Last thing is shoot your shots out to Judge Joe Brown because this line is live. You can actually speak directly to Judge Joe Brown. you talking to the Judge TV. Joe, Judge Joe Brown, uh, much respect to you, sir. Uh, I have watched your show. Um, I really appreciate uh, the words of wisdom that you gave. And uh, I also took notes on that. I will be tweeting on my Twitter in a little bit. Um, but I appreciate you and also to um, Carl Ulysses. Um, great job. You're doing great things. I appreciate that. It's very inspiring. So you all keep doing what you do and much success and blessings. All right. Judge, you got the floor, Judge. Please respond. Well, you know, I appreciate that, making somebody getting to be an old man feel real good. <laughs> I'm not quite there yet. I'm not as no, good as man. I used to be. Wait Come minute, on, wait man. Minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm not as good as I used to be, but sometimes I'm better than I ever was. Preach, preach, preach. I'm, I'm glad. You, you you running with the young buck, man. You're going to give me that wisdom, brother. I'm going to take you everywhere I go. Here I go. It's like the blanket with Linus. With that being said, uh, we're going out to my, my, my alma mater, my, my hometown. We're going out to North Carolina. Um, I'm going to bring you to my Carolina boys because these are my country boys. You're a country boy. Uh, with that being said, man, come on now, country. Come on. You know who you are. Uh, please yeah. tell them who you are, what the city and state you're calling in from. Tell them your name. And then shoot shots out to the judge. He can hear everything you said. You in the courtroom, baby. Let's get it. Yes, sir. Uh it's Big Tone, CEO uh, of Top Dollar Hustler Entertainment. I'm here with my son, Double A Fair Warden, and uh, we got a new single out. that's called Running to the Money. It can be found everywhere on Amazon, uh, Pandora, 
uh, iTunes. iTunes, Spotify. So uh, check us out. And, uh, Judge, I appreciate the information. I always teach my son, who uh, I'm currently recording with, uh, the best ethics to dress for success. And uh, I appreciate you actually uh, reconfirming everything that I've actually taught him as he was growing older. First impression, best impression. That's the one thing I know. So, yeah, I want to give my appreciation to uh, Judge Joe Brown. And uh, I would like to say I watch the show too, man, and I'm a big fan, and I understand everything about the pants thing. I understand where it comes from. So I definitely am against that, what you consider anti-sagger. Come on, hold on, hold on, man. Hold on, man. Hold on, hold on. I got to do this judge. Do you hear this, man? You just changed some lives. You just changed. You just made history. Right now, live on my show. Can can you can well, you can you shout at the young man and give him some wisdom? Whatever wisdom you got for this young man, he's a powerful producer. He's gonna be a multi Grammy winning producer because I'm a part of it. Because <laughs> I'm a part of it, and I got the power to do that. <laughs> but uh, give him uh, give him some love, and, and he he's not gonna have this opportunity again. I don't know if we're gonna have another show like I this. Like I listen to God. Let me give this as a piece of advice to anybody in entertainment, whether you're talking about the shaman outside the cave when Alley Oop was scooting around, you're talking about on a jungle uh, savanna, you're talking about on the steppes in Russia, you're talking about in a forest, you're talking about Shakespeare, you're talking about a Greco-Roman play, you talk about an old John Wayne movie. Every very good story has a message that says something about humanity. It either shows something that's wrong with it and what happens when you're into it. It shows the nobility of a tragedy when you do what you have to do, but you suffer knowingly because you know you did it. It can be something that is amusing and comedic, but when it is, it's like a good modern stand-up comic. You know what he's talking about because you've seen it. It's just putting it in a different light. So remember, rule one on entertainment, make it say something. Yes, sir. I definitely will take that in consideration. I'll tell you what I did. I won 150 grand one time on a bet with some Paramount executives that I could pick every movie that they made that was going to be a flop and every one that was going to be a hit. And I won the bet. They wanted to know how I did that. I just said this movie had no message. This one had none. This one had a weak one. This one had a strong message. There was no point in anybody looking at it because they didn't get anything out of it when it uh, came to what does it say about my condition, the humanity, or whatever. See, that's what churches are about. People go to church to get preached to. In other words, they want, you know, release from some of the pressure they're under, but they also want an admonition about what's going on. You can have that thing where the preacher just humming and his moaning, your head, Lord. I mean, you can do that. And what did it sound like? What did he say? I don't know. But then there are those sermons where they actually have a message in there that is coherent and applicable to the people. That's Pastor Don Jr. CEO. Mm-hmm. Come on, Pastor Don Jr. CEO. Let's get it, baby. That's me. Come on, that, keep talking. That, that, that makes it more important for the people to listen to. So if you've got a good message that goes along with the story, that the story is about trying to push that message, then you have some good entertainment and people will come look at it. Yes, sir. Uh, we we don't do a, uh, hey, no, we only did a, hold on. I, I got that one right there. And I, I want to make sure because we're in Sparta and you have to be very careful how you choose your words around major millionaires. Uh, we have a very good message that's going to change the world because of people like Judge Joe Brown getting involved, kicking me behind the scenes and past the chamber's conversation, and then coming on with the winning team and dropping his wisdom. We cannot, shall not, we will not fail. I will not sleep until we get to the millions. We are going to take over Wall Street. The reason why I'm making all 300 winning team members read my book because it's a business plan. The reason why I'm making everybody do it the right way because we don't have a second chance. And when we get in that room, we only got one chance to win. Now, Judge Joe Brown, Judge Joe Brown, you said something that's powerful, and I want everybody to hear on the sound of my voice. I'm the pastor. He said, I made a bet with Paramount. So before Paramount put forty, fifty, a hundred thousand, anything behind anything, they went and seen a man. And Leonidas had to consult the Oracle. Judge Joe Brown is our Oracle for the winning team. You don't understand what I'm saying? Yeah, it's going over your head. But the ones that do, 
We got that one. I understand. Yes, sir. I understand, man. Am I lying, Judge O'Brien, or not? Uh, you're not lying, Master. You're not lying. I'm not playing with this thing, man, and I'm tired of playing with it. I wear a three-piece suit every day because I'm about business. I'm in 7-Eleven. I'm dropping somebody. Yo, hey, what's going on? I do the winning team. I've lived in 40 out of 50 states, and the reason why I can lead this thing because I'm everywhere. And every time I talk to Judge Joe Brown, this man has so much wisdom. He ain't never talked about a subject where I say I don't know. So with that being said, man, hey, hey, I'm going to leave North Carolina on pause. I'm going to keep going out to my lines, man. I want to give everybody some of this flavor of Judge Joe Brown, man. We, 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 we can't hold it. Thank you, Judge Joe Brown, for just even just staying on deck like that. I got to go out to my man. Uh, this is sponsorship break, and he got to talk about his app. After he talk about his app, Judge Joe Brown, I want your feedback on what he said, and this will be the first time y'all get to interact live on the radio. Mr. Mike Love, come with the sponsorship break. You have one minute, brother. Hey, how y'all doing? Um, once again, uh, tipspins.com, the tipspins app. Uh, definitely enjoying the uh, conversation today. Judge Joe Brown, kicking that wisdom. Man, y'all, y'all are doing it big. I mean, I'm, I'm just watching this grow. I'm, I'm very happy to be a part of the winning team. Uh, the app, again, if you're just joining us, is tipspins. It's a song request app. Um, allows you to request a song from a DJ in a nightclub. That's the gist of it. Um, making making some definite moves. One of the uh, amazing features that I have about it is that I've implemented a, a Nielsen-like rating system. So now I can uh, gather information about who requested what song in what state by what artist and then go to the record labels, go to Live Nation, companies like that, and say, hey, you need to do a concert over here. Because this person is winning over here. This person is getting song requests in this city, in this state, and he's already grossed a thousand dollars. So, might as well come do a concert. That information is invaluable. There's nothing like it right now, except there is. It's called Tipsman, and you're a part of it. So, reach out to me. Oh God, I'm gonna break my bell. I'm gonna break my bell, man. I, yo, I'm telling y'all, you what I'm gonna do with this app? I'm about to change the world. This app is going to give us something solid. Judge Joe Brown gives us the the uh, the carrot in front of the horse, but this app gives us something that people can download and say they are part of the winning team. So I'm going to be instructing every winning team member to download this app. That's why he got the sponsorship race. He paid for this. It's not free, y'all. He paid for it. It costs. <laughs> but let, let, let's get it, man. I'm sorry to cut off your sponsorship. No, that's, that. that's all worth it. I mean, being a part of the winning team, I don't, I don't mind. Um, spending money with you guys as um, long as it makes sense, you know. Um, you have to invest in yourself at some point in time, and uh, maybe you've heard that before, right? Uh, your network is your network. So, <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. Hey, 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 hey Mr. Mike Lowe with that radio voice, man. Hey, Judge O'Brown, his line is open, man. Give Judge, you, you, t- you gave me some great wisdom about what he said personally, but you don't Put it out there in the past chamber conversation, but you let Judge know what you feel because you watch this show like I watch this show, and I support him, and he support us, and it's a family. But uh, give him your 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 accolades, and then after that, uh, Judge Joe Brown, please, please, please pick up because time is precious, and give him your feedback. You got the floor, Mike. So I'm also uh, in the radio business. I'm an FM radio DJ. I go by the name of Mike Love. Uh, maybe you heard about me. So um, right now, currently, I'm on Hot 91.1 FM. Uh, that's in Virginia, um, North Virginia specifically, Hampton Roads area. So um, really big into doing the voiceovers. Uh, <laughs> got that quiet storm voice, but that's my format. That's what I'm doing right now, you know. So um, been in the music business a very long time. Um, did some road management with a group called the Nappy Roots. Uh, you might have heard of them. Uh, did a lot of product placement. Wrote for a couple of magazines. I have a long, long resume. I opened up for Paul Mooney at, at Caroline's Nightclub as a stand-up comedian in New York City. I mean, it goes on. Um, so that's me. Tip Spins is my app. Um, I'm definitely rocking with Pastor Don Jr. and the winning team and all of you on this line. If you want to get involved, um, let's put our heads together. Let's make it work. You know, um, I'm wide open. Reach me out, 757-581-8335, tipspins.com. Follow me on Twitter at Tipspins, Instagram, same thing, at Tipspins. 
uh, on Facebook, same thing. Facebook. Thank you so on. much. The right. tipsmans.com. Appreciate the the uh, the, the uh, wow. It's just so many people, man. I'm trying to get to everybody. I want to make sure everybody gets to speak. Uh, before I go any further, uh, Judge Joe Brown, man, if you could uh, give me your feedback on that brother, man, please. Well, I like what he's doing. Sounds okay. More power to him. As long as you're doing something and you can keep your eyes focused on that main thing of manhood or if you're female or womanhood, you're doing all right. You know, the economy and getting stuff together has multifaceted uh, places you can take yourself to. So the more you take yourself there, the better. Now, brother, a little word up. Uh, Some years ago, about 10, 12 years ago, this ex-wife of mine was trying to get into the fashion stuff too. Designing things and making it on a small scale is great. If you keep it in-house as a custom tailoring business or a custom business, it's okay. If you try to make a line, be very careful about who you deal with because you'll need it, let's say, the third week of January needs stuff to come in so you can get it out for the spring, and then you get some clown talking about he just can't get his head together or there's some problems, and it's too late for the spring. Maybe you can use it for something in the summer, and then when you get it, instead of it being double-stitched, it's single-stitched. Whoa, uh, come on. you got to be careful about who you deal with. I mean, it's right. just bad, you know, I was trying to get it together, man. We were trying to do what we wanted, you know, like, Try to get your brother, Grant, and then be very careful about who you have to help you with distribution of the product because if you're new to this thing, even if you've got a name, if you don't get on it and stay on it, they will delay selling your stuff, claim they can't move it, and then keep it and send it to one of their better customers so they can move it to next year or the next season. Wow. Uh, Part of what goes on, everybody talks about the sweatshop sending labor abroad. It's not so much for the uh, lesser price. It's just you wanted it last week of January. You get it the second week of January, and they say, oh, excuse, please. You said double stitch, but we triple stitch. No problem. We messed up two or three or four of them, so many, but we aren't charging you. For those, you can sell them for seconds, and we replace everything that we messed up two times over so you'll have that extra and it's not going to cost you anymore. So, you know, it's a work ethic thing, too. Just be careful who you get doing your big-time work for. You- hey, man, thank you so much, Judge. And please stand by, man. I got to bring my sister in. Uh, we we got to hear from the ladies. Uh, sister Lockett, you, you live with the judge, man. And um, tell them what you're doing in Dallas. Tell them. Oh, tell the judge. Nice. Tell the judge. Talk to the judge. Hold on. First, 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 first. first. First, first, first main I'm city, on. state, and uh, let everybody know what you're working on. <laughs> okay, my name is Tamara Lockett. I'm in Fort Worth, Texas. I've been here for going on two years now. And um, this is a separate Lockett family, but God has opened the door that I became the chair officially last week for the Lockett Charitable Family Foundation. And... We're getting ready to work with 19 community centers right here in Fort Worth. So it's an honor to be able to do this, and we're going to be planning different events and different programs to place in the I need Judge Joe Brown to come speak at each and every last individual centers. you got to budget that in. And, Judge, tell her why you need to speak at all those communities. That's Dallas. That, that, that's, that's the gang capital, homie. Tell her why you need to speak at all of them individually you need to be paid for it. Tell her why. We got to what happens is that too often in these type of hoods, neighborhoods, areas, there's nobody giving them uh, what for and a how message. There's nobody talking to them. Uh, you want to see that, just go hang out at some of the restaurants on the periphery and watch the would-be young mothers with the children they have that run all over the place, don't know much anything, and listen to their conversations at the table. Eavesdrop, if you will, but it's quite educational. There is a profound need for the young folk in our communities to actually hear from somebody who's made it, how understand how they made it. You can tell them that God was good to you, but please tell them what instruction and what methods you put in front of God so God could be good to you. 
Just simply Come on. saying I prayed about Come on. it is not going to be enough because maybe uh. I don't understand how you prayed, but tell them what methodology you were praying the hope would work. Woo. All right? Come on, yeah. they, You got to tell the truth, man. I need you in front of them. I need you in front of them, kids. I'm sorry to cut you off, but I need, I need it like I need air. Yeah, well, yeah. changing the world. Thing. Yeah, I, right to now. get a, a review of how this thing works, if you can go get Blu-ray, a DVD, and get a Star uh, Wars series, uh, episode four and five, they get into there, where Yoda is telling young Luke, a Jedi is strong, a Jedi remembers his training, uh, your anger control that you must to the dark side it leads, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Yes, All Lord. of this stuff that he's using, the word Jedi, uh, uh, over or involving it in, and just put manhood or womanhood, and that's the way kids are supposed to get told. They don't hear that. They just hear hustles where the hustle yes, is basically written off somebody that you ought to be able to be in common cause with. The hustle yes, Lord. is about ripping off your neighbor. The hustle is yes, about financial dishonesty. The hustle has got nothing to do with you need to find your mark in being a great person by how big a circle you can put around you that's dependent on you for the right kind of things, not just Come on. you have so many people you service with your latest merchandise being meaning drugs. So Come on. it's a lot there. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Judge, hold on. Hold on, Judge, hold on, Judge, 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 Your Honor, please pause for the cause, man. You about to kill us. And when I say you about to kill us, man, I'm barely keeping my bell going because I- I'm about to break it. When I say I'm about to break it, everything you said was confirmation. It took me 40 years on this earth to get to where I'm at today. But I do stuff that the people don't understand. I ain't got the money. I'm going to do it what God tell me to do. I ain't got the money. I'm going to do what God tell me to do. I ain't got the money. Period. Oh, wow. I got the money now. Come back and pay me. That's it. I'm tired of fighting with my people to help them to change the world. If you could, Sister Lockett, tell him what you're doing. Tell the whole world. Don't keep no secrets. This is, this is the, your family. This is the winning team. We're 300 strong. If they don't know what you need, ask not, have not, shall not receive. But when you yeah. ask for it, believe. When you receive it, receive it with welcome. And that's what Judge just said about the manhood. And I'm taking it. I had to go commercial break because my baby was crying, but I'm watching my baby, and I'm doing a radio show changing the world. Yeah. Yes, Daddy Daycare. Let's get it, baby. You got it, fool. Okay, Judge Joe Brown. And I'm listening to everything that you're saying, and I'm taking it in. And I had got to go to some of these community centers. And out of one community center, was pushing over 150 kids alone. Over 150 kids alone. And they were just like, whatever programs you can bring, we need them. They have their own football team. They have their own track team. They have everything they need in their community center. And they're getting ready to break ground this September on their own, a new um, community center, and it's as big as a sports complex. So here in Fort Worth, they are really into their community center. So for me to be on board, to be able to bring something to these, and I'm just hearing you talking about you just wrote a book, where the first event that we're working on, which I'm working with Pastor Don, Jr., CEO, is we're doing a book and breakfast. So we're going to bring, we got Omar Tyree. And matter of fact, these are his mentors. We got Omar Tyree coming in. We got Mr. Hurl Whaley coming in to speak. And I would love for you to come to speak or anybody else that can contribute and come if you got books that you want to bring. But we got all these 19 centers that we're going to bring together also for this um, Books and Breath. So that's a lot of work. And I know everybody got something they can bring to the table. And I'm here to just listen because I'm new to this. I'm coming on this caliber. But I know I can do it and going to do it. And Come on, that's Judge. why I'm so happy to be Come here. On. I already know you're running out of words, baby. Come on, Judge. Give, give us some love. She needed the love from the Judge. Sister, please keep doing what you're doing. It's necessary. It actually will help. And one of the things that you have to – keep first and foremost, is you may not see any immediate effect, but what you tell them will stay in their minds, even if it's only their subconscious. So at a later point in life, 
maybe two days afterwards, two weeks, two years, whatever it may be, something will come up and what you said will pop back up in their mind. She mm-hmm. said something about this. Wow. And that will say to them, how did she know this was going to be or how did she foresee this? Well, she must have been through this for real so she knows what she's talking about. Maybe I should really, really pay attention to what got told to me. Yeah. See, that, that oh, I, the, I love the law. Come on with that prophecy. Mm-hmm. I love the law. Go ahead, See, man. That, Go that, ahead. That's what happens when you train children. Like, men, you know what this is about. If you've had a dad, granddad, or uncle around, or mom had a decent boyfriend, or you had a stepdad, or even somebody, a coach you work with, uh, part of what happens is you find that you're saying what they told you without realizing it. You say, wow, listen to me, or it'll dawn on you, I've heard about this before. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And see, that's part of the learning experience. It's not that uh, it has an immediate impact. It's that it may have an impact downstream in time or circumstance. So, you know, get it out there. They need to hear it. Actually, they probably won't forget it either, but they may not put it to use until... No, 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 no. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. They're going to put it to use, and Judge O'Brien going to tell them about it. Everything you told me, I'm putting it right in motion. That's why all these people are here. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. They're going to put it to youth. The youth will change. We got 19 community centers in Dallas, the Fort Worth area. Malik Freedom. Hey, come to the line. You out there in Texas, we taking the state over Texas where all the oil fields is. We get Texas first. I'm, I'm like Barack Obama on the 2008 presidential campaign. If we get Texas to California, we will be president. Believe and yes, I have also I have also did a pilot to give a little background to me. I had a nonprofit before in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and it was a self esteem program. And I used modeling as my platform, and I had that for eight years. And for some of them kids now that are adults to come to me and said, you helped me through my high school years. You gave me my high school. You kept me out of trouble. And this is like 15 kids. So if I could just help one and save one, I know I have done my job. But I want to say. Hold on, sister. Stand by. Stand by. No, no. We be a line open. We we got a power situation going on. The Holy Spirit told me to open up Malik Freedom. He's a TV producer. You need to be on TV. Judge John, Judge Joe Brown needs to be back on TV. I need all these things to happen live in front of the winning team. Right now, right here. Malik Freedom, you have a sir. Uh, while I have this time, I just want to thank Judge Joe Brown for always being stern with the brothers when he had his show, Aaron. Uh, always giving positive reinforcement to those that were willing to absorb it. Uh, Mike Love, I need to holler at you, brother. And Mr. Ulysses, that worked with the Black Panther Project, thank you for doing what you did. It was awesome. Yeah. Well, the sisters in Texas, you in Texas, let everybody know. Now, you got to keep in mind, this is real radio. People are checking in, checking out. And uh, you're going to start off the contact information session. Uh, let her know what you're working on, let Judge Joe Brown know what you're working on, and we want to get him on your network, on that on that network. We got to work that out. If we got to do Skype or video or something, we, we got cell phones. You can put them on TV. I need Judge Joe Brown back on TV dropping his knowledge for people to see. Yeah. Well, we can definitely discuss uh, getting Judge Joe Brown on our Urban Houston network. I need to talk to the owner and see what she has to say about it, but I'm, I'm definitely interested in that. Uh, my contact information, my number is 832 832- Nine two three one seven nine five. Judge Joe Brown, I will be uh, contacting you via Twitter when this is over with. Um, my email address is f r e e d o m f i l m p r o d at gmail dot com. I'm currently working on a comedy series called Behind the Jokes, which will feature stand up comedians and interviews with those same comedians during the show. Thank you. All right, with that being said, man, I'm going to put you on pause, and we're about to go on our contact giveaway. This is a contact giveaway, y'all. When I say a contact giveaway, you contact the people that felt good, sound good, and they still available. Uh, Sister Lockett, 
I love what you're doing. Like you said, I'm 100%. I love books. And I'm glad you was able to speak to the judge. I'm glad I'm going to be able to get him on a, on an actual run. He's going to change the world because he's on the winning team. Uh, with that being said, give out your contact information. Let everybody know how they can get in contact with you. Let them know how to call you and all that. You got it. All right. My email address is Tamara Lockett, and that name is T-A-M-A-R-A-L-O-C-K-E-T-T at gmail.com. My number is 918-902-1699, and the foundation is the Lockett Family org. And that's how you can contact me. And also, uh, Mr. Ulysses, I want to speak with you with your and I and I'm so proud of what you did with the Black Panthers. And I have a hat called Flip the Hat. I don't know if you remember that, Pastor Don Junior CEO. <laughs> but I have <laughs> made some hats literally out of hair. And I and I and I created this years, decades ago. But it didn't surface back again and after the Black Panthers, I have got so many requests for my hats because they wanted to wear them to the theaters. Because these are hats that are made out of hair, but you can stand them up like a crown. You can flip it like a cowboy hat. You can put it on like a fisherman's hat. It's whatever you want to flip it to. But because of the Black Panthers, it made my hat go well. Praise God. Praise God. And uh, Mr. Ulysses, thank you so much. Please stay with us. I'm going to put you on mute, sister. We got to go out to Alaska, man. And uh, I got I to gotta give you props, sister. You've been on the whole show. You've been taking notes. I love that. And uh, Judge Joe Brown, please give her props while I put her on mute, and you're going to be talking to her. I'm going to put a three-way call together so you can get on the 19 City. I mean, 19 City. Okay, I mean, okay God. <laughs> I'm taking you to 19 City. God, 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 I'm saying 19 community centers, but God said, no, no, you're taking them to 19 cities. <laughs> yeah, come on. We can do come that. Come on. Uh, Judge O'Brien, you got the floor, my brother. Just just give her your kudos before I go to the next caller. Well, sister, as again, I like what you're saying and what you're trying to do, and particularly spread a little wisdom to these young sisters, you know, it ain't cool to get out there and just drop babies because, you know, friend girls expect you to do what they do. And to a great extent, for a lot of them, is misery loves company and they don't even realize it. So spread the word to them. Don't have these babies until you're in a position not only to be able to take care of them yourself financially, but to have somebody to help you and also to participate in the instruction that they're going to need. So... You know, if they don't understand it any other way, try to explain to them what diplomacy is. You've got two powerful entities there with enough firepower or death-dealing devices to rip each other up, but they sit down and they politely see how they can collaborate so they don't go to war with each other. We need to learn how to deal with each other, man. Man, man, George Washington Carver, how do you keep finding more uses for the peanut, man? It was already 200. And every time that I open your line, it's more uses for the peanut. How do you keep doing that? How do you keep doing that? I was like, hold on. He only got 200 things. Nah, I got 250. Hey, I walked out of the room. I got 300. What's going on, Judge? Please stay with us, man. This is y'all blowing my mind, man. When I say y'all blowing my mind, I just – I, I, I'm not tongue-tied. I'm just in love with the game, and I love what's going on here. People's lives are changing, and we're about to change the world as a family, not just me. I'm going to go out to my family. When I say my family, he's seen me as a young whippersnapper, and then I'm going to put him on live with the judge. Rich, 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 come on, baby. Come on, Rich. Let, let's go, baby. <laughs> hey, bro, you see I'm still hanging on. How you doing, Judge Joe Brown? Nice to meet you. How are you, sir? I'm trying to do things down here in Florida, man, but I, I definitely feel you on that sagging pants, boy. It's an epidemic. I was just talking to some of my compadres, and I said, how do we go from GQ to this? And then, you know, the guys come, and they're sagging. They got a sweat stain in the middle of their butt, and they want to sit on your sofa. Hey, man, we got to tighten up. There's a whole race, a whole society, man. We got to tighten up. And what Pastor Don is doing is going to unite some folks. I mean, I used to do this same type of thing back in Daytona. You remember, Don? Sure <laughs> the, um, yeah, Black yeah, College Reunion. Mm-hmm. Black College yeah, Reunion. 
But yeah. see, that, that's the thing, though. You know what? You was you had to have people physically there. Now we got the internet. Judge Joe Brown. Right. Hell, I could be in my drawers. I'm not in my drawers. I'm in a three piece suit, but I could be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you well, I mean, that's what made me. Let that's me give you a time. Still make us go hard. You know that 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 coming from that club without the cell phones and internet, we went hard. We wasn't about oh, we got this on this and this on Facebook. When we pull up, you ain't got nothing. Well, nah, we had to come see you. So <laughs> I'm kind of I'm kind of thankful for that period in life. But yeah, the internet is keeping things moving and shaking. And all of these brothers out here need to be aware of finances. They need to be more than just sports and entertainment. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot more room for growth. Like I told you, Don, I'm going to Sierra Leone. I'm going to start over there and, and, and ministering and, and going over there and, and trying to dig diamonds, you know, <laughs> with the common folks. Yeah, well, so, I'm about to get you the resources. That's why you're on the phone. That's why I open you up with the judge. Hey, talk to the yeah, judge. You don't get an opportunity like this ever again. Talk to Judge Joe Brown direct. Well, Judge Joe Brown, like I say, the, the main thing I'm trying to do is be a support mechanism for Pastor Don. He knows my path. I mean, we're strong enough. We definitely em- embrace what you're bringing to the table, and we need that. We need that tutelage and that guidance from our masters, you know. But um, what I want to do is bring a forum here to Tampa Bay because it's growing so big, but our black community is getting lost. It's really, really getting lost. It's a tragic situation in Tampa. The world might not know how Tampa breathe or whatever, but it's not the Buccaneers and the Lightning. These brothers are killing each other just like almost getting – they want to imitate Chicago. I heard a jit say, I want to imitate Chicago. Now, that's some real mean stuff. I'm like, I hear the same it? stuff from the streets, too. I, I'm in the streets in Tampa. I got a lot of people in Tampa. I heard yeah. you ain't lying. Judge, you hear this? Like you Hold on, stop, you stop, 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 Mr. Richie. Stop for a second. Judge, you hear what's going on? It's genocide, I hear. and and that was a genocide. We got one of the. This guy's the biggest promoter in Tampa. He know everybody. He can't get out of his car to go to the Seven Eleven without saying hi to somebody he know in their business. Man, I don't contact the mayor Bob Buckhorn. I don't contact the, the police chief who I went to college with. Uh, Everybody, but they turning their back. It's like you know what I'm saying. I'm out here fighting. This is why I need you to bring the judge there to speak to the people. This is why the judge is so important to the winning team. This is why it makes me yell because I got to ring my bell. I don't want to keep ringing this bell in confirmation saying that we kill each other. Grieving mothers, grieving fathers. Come on, all of this is going down on it. We just had a a black serial killer in Tampa, bro. A black serial killer. He was just walking up, shooting people in the face because his brother was lost. That's this what I'm saying. We don't have mentors. Our NCAA chapter is, is not even promoting anything. We don't even do Martin Luther King Parade, you know, marches anymore in, in Tampa, you know? So it's like we're really losing touch. But if I need to get a lightning strike or a lightning bolt, that's where Judge Brown come in. And I think that we could build a forum here, uh, uh, Don, and you, you know as well as I know. You don't have, it don't, won't cost him nothing. I pay for everything. And okay. get him down here to be a platform, man, you know what I'm saying, because – if that comes out, like you say, I, I, I know need everybody. that. It's winning team. It's winning team. Look, look, look. Hold on, yeah. hold on, on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Lord, forgive me. I hate to say the word nigga, but, yo, I'm ignorant as hell when it comes to, like, ignorant. Uh, yeah. I got a 10-city tour for Radio Records. Miami, Florida. Daytona Beach, Florida. Tampa Bay, your state. Uh, West Palm, Fort Myers, Orlando, Gainesville, Jacksonville, Atlanta, Georgia, Nashville. I can't do it without the right people in place. And what I'm trying to say to you is, in the Bible, when Jacob stole Esau's blessing, he was going to see his brother. Yes, sir. I'm stealing, I'm stealing back what the devil stole from me, and I'm stealing back everything the devil stole from anybody. And that's why I'm knee on the matrix, because I'm the only one on this planet walking and do it. When I say these things, I'm not playing. I need to work well, it out. Well, that's, why I'm, <clears throat> that's why I'm engineering these, uh, uh, like my products, Don. You know, I got the, the water came back, my H2 Glow. That's going to be coming back. It did $2 million in sales in South Africa. Um, I got my Moscato coming out, the more. That'll be out this week. But I'm empowering my young brothers and sisters to get jobs. Go out here, become salesmen, create your own path, create your own line. And I'm telling them, hey, man, stop running with chickens. Soar with eagles. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay I got to stop you right there. Judge Joe Brown, you've heard a lot. And I'm saying stuff, and I'm making reference like, like you can do it. But at the end of the day, I'm telling you um, – I can't talk for you, but at the end of the yeah. day, the Holy Spirit is talking and telling me it's going to happen. <laughs> but, Judge, you, you, you say what's good to you. Okay, I'll help you guys out if I can. Uh, Pastor, you've got my contact info. Give it to the brother. I don't want to give it out over the line because I've had yes, sir. problems with those that aren't wrapped too tight. But uh, <laughs> uh, I'll hook you up with some of my people. We can make the arrangements, all right? 
I definitely appreciate that. Exactly right. We need to get this thing out there in the neighborhood. By the way, one of the reasons they're doing this ideation thing about being like they are in Chicago, see, it's a man thing. It looks like to them. It's violent. It's rough-edged. And they think that's what being a man is all about. It's not, but nobody's giving them alternative. And, see, they want to be part of something. Yes, sir. Remember some years ago when all of the young guys were walking around with starter jackets on? Uh, they liked uh, oh, the Oakland Raiders football team, and you'd yep. walk up to them. They didn't know even what do they do? Uh, I, 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 it's football helmet. What do they do? Play football? Well, what do you? What's your connection to the Oakland? Well, man, Come on. just look. Uh, you know, you see everybody wearing one, so you just want to belong. See. They don't even understand why they're doing it. So we have to give them an explanation. And one thing about young men, they want to be men, but nobody's showing them how to be one. When they see one, right? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I I, I want to say that. And I got to say this, and please don't ever say that on my winning team Wednesday. I'm giving people brain, heart, courage, hope, uh, showing them how to be a man. You heard my daughter. I'm over here on a radio show with millionaires. I got Black Panther on one side, and then I got Judge O'Brien on the other side. So I got the big screen and the little screen. At the same time, I got my winning team. Yeah, but I that's am absolutely right, man. To, well, no, no what, what, I'm, what I'm saying is don't don't put that energy out on my, my line. It, it's happening, yeah. <laughs> but I'm not a part of that, and I don't want to even have that come across my desk. And I'm not yeah. Judge Brown. I love you. you are, I honor you. you. You're honor. Please don't feel any kind of way. I have to say that because of, I'll feel some kind of way if I said it behind the scenes and I didn't say it would happen. I have to address what's in front of me and then be a better leader when it happens if I make a mistake. But I have to address it when it hits me. I can't put it off. Or, or Some people will be parking their problems to the side. No, it's in front of me. I need to deal with it. Judge okay. O'Brien, if you could, Judge O'Brien, give out your contact information, man. Give your words of wisdom and closing. Rich, I'm about to close you out. And, uh, yes, sir. We, we, Thank we, you. We running. Hold on. Don't, don't go nowhere. We we going what no we gotta do it properly, uh Richie you give out your stuff first because Judge he he gonna drop it when Judge drop it Judge I'm gonna save you for last you gonna have the last word I'm gonna pray after you speak but you gonna have the last word Judge but I got a couple more people that want to shoot shots out to me okay yes yeah, yes I'll yes I will get to your line. yeah I just got to just get at me at uh just get at me at Richie Rich R I C H I E Rich forty three forty three at gmail dot com I answer every Gmail on the spot. So, well, Go ahead, what I'm asking, Reverend, uh, Pastor, yes, give him my contact information. I don't like to give out where you can get me directly over the right. air. You know what I'm gotcha. saying? Gotcha. Okay. I'm a, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, I'm I'm do better. No, no, no. No, no. I'm going to give him your contact information, but he know my father. And he, I'll put it like this. Okay. I've had over 100 years. Mike Love, he's been working with my father for like 15, 20 years. Uh, Richard Rich has been working with my father for 30 years. Uh, Harold Whaley, uh, Ace Dub, he's been working with my father for 40, 50 years. So all my all my guys came out tonight. And, I mean, when I say they came out tonight, I was like, wow. Like, we did I it will, to you, man. I told you that. But, no, this is what it's, no, no, this is what it's built for. We're on 3 to 10 podcasts every day, and I text everybody. But this is where you really come and see who, why I'm texting you. Because at the but end Don, of the day. you're getting the platform. You're setting the platform. What I'm doing here is a battle. Regardless if anybody comes to Tampa or don't come to Tampa, I'm fighting every day. I'm walking in the streets with these young brothers. I'm preaching to them. I mentor Dwight Gooden's son. You know what I'm saying? So right. I'm doing right. my due, due diligence, but I'm just saying you give us a platform for me to speak with Judge Joe Brown. He can implement some institutions that might be able to assist us. You know, I'm working right. on a program to help kids that go – to prove I want, okay, I want you to make his book and, as your and manual get out and get a for what job. you're doing. Well, right. No, What's no, that? I know you're working on a book. No, no, you're working on a book. He already got it. Save your energy. He already got it. Yeah, I got the book. the book information. I can help him. I mean, you know that. I mean, I, no, no, no. Okay, <laughs> just work, work, work with me on this. No, no, no. I, I have when, when I have a, a, a problem because my mind moves. I'm always three years ahead of everybody. This is the mm-hmm. initiative that I feel that would be the best. We can set him up to come out there. Every week, every week, and what he do is uh, Judge Joe Brown presents giving back to the community. So what that means is he's going to drop knowledge, drop wisdom. Nobody got to pay. 
We're going to yeah. get some sponsors. We're going to get Coke, Starbucks, and Nike. But nobody got to pay. Got black, got a black Coca-Cola Cola company right here, and the, and the guy I told you about is the head guy over there. So that's no problem. I got him. Yeah, yeah. Judge O'Brien presents. And what, what, what the thing about him, when it's Judge O'Brien presents, is knowledge and wisdom. Because yes, the sir. only thing that I want to book him for, fuck the TV, Lord forgive me, I shouldn't cuss, but fuck the TV. I want to book him for the knowledge and the wisdom to change the world. That's it. That's I, right. It only world changing knowledge and wisdom. So he going to sell his book. The people got to buy the book. And the way I'm going to do with the honorarium, I'm need to be through about like 50 books purchased. So what I need you to get with them hood dudes to run around and get 50 people to purchase the book. Now that they purchase the book, we break them off whatever X, Y, Z, his honorarium we need to get on a plane. But it's going it, to, it's going to, if you buy something, then you actually read it. But if you don't pay for it, you won't read it. Right. Well, we, we gonna make these people change. We definitely that. We can make a book movement. If they can spend here. fifty dollars on a bag of Kush, they can spend fifty dollars on some wisdom. And I know, yeah, I know exactly. Tampa. I've been on uh, Evoy City. You know me, man. You bro, you yeah. picked me up off the yeah. club floor several nights. Yeah. You know how yeah. I get down. Yeah. You feel me? So it ain't, bro. It ain't none of that no more. What I'm saying is, bro, I'm I'm on my square as me on the Matrix. I'm changing the world right now. We That's are it. together. That's right. Yes. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. We are the winning team. I'm changing. Yeah, speaking yeah, I'm into changing existence, the way I'm God, moving. You know, it happens. We get into existence. Like I say, I went. But, but I, I got to do my job. God called me every day, but if I put God on voicemail, I don't have the opportunity to listen. So, Rich, Rich, one more time, your contact info, man. We about to close this thing down. I love each and every last one of y'all. Love you too, Don. Love you too. That's Richie Rich, forty three forty three at gmail dot com. Hit me. I'm live all day long. I never sleep either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either, bro. All right, I'll be. All right, Judge. Thank you so much. All right. Well, Pastor will give you the – I'm not adverse to giving you my I, number. I, yes, sir. I understand but completely. You are the trust only me. one listening. <laughs> trust me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when I open my Facebook and they go in there and holler at, try to holler at all my people, and I'd be like, oh, i got to shut this down. But, yeah, I used to live in Chicago, Judge, right there on Dan Ryan in 98. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I stayed on 71st and Constant for a year back 1972. Look, I was so scared that the, the, the guy made me. He said, man, you have to be with the Black Stones just to, just to be in the hood, man. They don't know who you is around here. I was like, oh, it's time for me to get back to Florida. <laughs> I got to be in the game. What the hell? <laughs> just to walk? Nah, bro, I'm gone. <laughs> Oh my God, we are a family, man. Hey, stay with us, yeah. man. And I'm, we, hey, right you, now, bro. the contact. I love you too. I'm calling you at the show, man. Hey, when I say I'm calling you, hey, you better answer the phone. We better get everything. Well, you know I'm right working. Now. I'm gonna get to work right now, bro. So go ahead. Hey. I got got some stuff I got to do in the community you know, right now. You know, so. hey, but I'm calling you. No, you gonna take my call? Yeah, I don't care if yes, you're praying. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I love you. You about to do it? And then, no, yes, he sir. said, hey, he gave you the green light. He said he never told me that ever. So hey, I'm calling you. You know how it is. All right. Yeah, all right now. Thank you. All right. Thank you all. Be blessed. All right. All right. Bye. Uh, okay, we're we going back out to our call lines. This is a part of the show. We close it down. Now it's time to say goodbye to all my winning team friends. MIC, I'm going to see y'all later until we give out the contact info. We can't go out nowhere. We got to contact info. Uh, we got to go out to Mike Love. Mike Love, check in, baby. Get out your contact info one more time, brother. Where you at? Mike Love in the building. Can you hear me, Mike Love? Okay. Mike Love, are you in the building? Okay. Going to the next line. Um, Malik Freedom. Close the comments and contact. Uh, it was great to be on the line with y'all. I look forward to doing positive things with positive people. Uh, my number is 832-923-1795. Malik Freedom. Peace. Hello, hello, Melissa Yellow Ten. You can uh, reach me at s a y d a t at gmail dot com. One more time, tell everybody who you are. What city said you calling in from? Close the comment. Melissa Yellow Ten from Louisville, Kentucky. I was very glad to be here. Um, you can reach me at my uh, radio. Um, Gmail, that's S A Y D A T dot M dot Y at Gmail dot com.
All right, we're going we're gonna to take two more callers, and I'm not going to be able to get to everybody. My intelligence officer, Mr. Will Flux, closing comments, remarks, and shout out to the judge. And, and he's live now. You can speak directly to the judge. He can hear you. Okay, hey, um, this is Will Flux White out of El Paso, Texas. Uh, just want to say, Judge Joe Brown, um, I've been watching you for a long time. Yes, we know that. Just want to say love the information you gave out today. Love the plan about you going to these cities that have 15, 16 rec centers. Let's get you in there. I, I believe in that. I believe we do definitely need to change with the whole sagging and everything. I would like to thank Carl Ulysses for coming out today. Give love to the winning team, spreading your um, experience. Um, Mike Love, thanks for the sponsorship. I just want to say thanks, everybody, for coming. Um, I'm El Paso, Texas. My number is 915-474-2875, and I'm out. Wow, okay. <laughs> That's an All right. Officer. <laughs> That's an intelligence. That's my intelligence officer. And uh, when I say the intelligence, it's like Snowden, man. He's everywhere. Like, he's in a lot of stuff that I don't understand, and I understand a lot. So, uh, Judge O'Brien, how do you feel about me having an intelligence officer? Uh, please give me your feedback on that. That sounds good. Part of an organizational plan. And by the way, uh, Twitter contact, Judge Joe Brown at Judge Joe Brown TV. I'll say that again. Uh, you can catch a few drops of uh, some of the information I might have out there that you might find informative or helpful. But I like that idea. I like that idea. That sounds good. Hey, man, good job. Thank you so much, Judge. Appreciate you, Intelligence Officer, Mr. Will Flux. We're going to keep going out to our call lines. I'm only gonna, I said I was going to take two, and I took one, and he don't count because he's a part of the alumni. I'm, I'm taking two people. Uh, we got to go out to my people in, in North Carolina. I'm going home, then I'm going to Alaska, then I'm going to let Judge Joe Brown take us home. Uh, we're going out to Mr. Bailey. And, 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 and that powerful dynamic duel, father and son. Woo! Yeah, Man. yes, sir. Uh, this is Big Tone CEO. You can find me at Big Tone CEO at Facebook. Uh, you can also reach me at Top Dollar Hustler at Yahoo dot com. And uh, yeah, this is a movement. And uh, Pastor Don, I thank you, uh, Judge Joe Brown. I'm a big fan of yours, and I appreciate all that you're doing for the community. And I hope you continue in your work. And may God lead you in all your endeavors. So thank you very much. We're welcome. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, sir. All right, Thank put the youngin back. Hey, put the youngin back on. You you can't do it like that. Put the youngin back on. He need to say his piece too. All this is being recorded. He need to have his time. This is history being made. Put the youngin on the phone. I got you. Hold on one moment. Thank you so much. We are gonna stop the show until the youngin time. Huh? Hey, he just he just left. But I'm okay. pretty sure on his behalf. I apologize yeah. for that. But at the end of the day, I did try to include him in that. I think for everybody. You feel me? Stay right there. We got one more caller. He about to kill it. Oh, no. Nah. Man, we got more than one more caller. We got two more callers. Oh, God. Okay, Tessa Cali. We're going out to Tessa Cali. Tessa Cali, hey, shout out to Judge. And I'll go ahead and drop your contact info. Okay. Tess Cali, are you ready? All right. We're going out to uh, Lonnie. Close us out, my brother. You heard a lot, Lonnie Holly. You know what it is. Uh, Judge O'Brien can hear everything you say. You can interact with him directly. I'm right here. I'm going to do three things real quick. Number one, topspinswiththez.com. Richie Rich. Tip, 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 tip. Tip spins, tip spins, okay, and that spins has a Z, not an S. The S is a whole different organization. So tip spins with the Z. Down in Tampa, we have Mr. Richie Rich. I got people that's going to be contacting you. I got family down there. I'm from Florida, even though I live in Alaska and Washington right now. Mr. Malik, Mr. Malik Freedom, uh, I'm going to be contacting you myself. I got some top-level people that are doing some huge things to change the world and we kind of need your exposure and your connection. I got an award show that uh, my sister and I have been talking about. We need to uh, talk to you to kind of run some things by. Miss Tamara Lockett, 
I have a whole gang of people down in the military that need to come through and talk to you and help those boys out. Mr. Will Flux in El Paso. I live in El Paso as a travel ICU nurse for three years. Big Tone, CEO, love what you're doing, love your message and the information that you're putting out. Mr. Carl Ulysses, appreciate everything that you are doing for our community, brother. And then, after I said all that, now let me breathe in, breathe out, calm down, and say to you, Mr. Judge Joe Brown, I appreciate you for more, much more than just being a person on a television program. I appreciate the education and the amount of investment that you put into you and the process of becoming legitimized and having credibility. With that being said, we need more people with critical thinking that become lifelong learners and lived by principal value. As a young man, I grew up in the hood myself. My father wasn't really there, even though he's a wonderful artist. You look up Lonnie Holly, and his information is going to come roaring back to you on Google. However, my stepfather was an insane alcoholic who tried to kill one of me or my brothers every day that we were in the house with him until they put us in foster care. We got back with our mother. We went into the hood, and I said all of that to say this. There were often times when we could not find a whole man around, so I found me 10 pieces of men and put together a Frankenstein monster of manhood, and that reflects who I have become today. My information is Lonnie underscore Holly at iCloud.com. Telephone number is 907-545-5664. And my kind of product that I'm bringing to the board is a wealth activating system that can be utilized by a two-year-old or 102-year-old. When you plant a seed in the ground, it does not matter what color you are, what age you are, if you're fat with a disability, whether you live in the hood, you can take a watermelon seed and put it in the hood and put it in the ground or out in the country and put it in the ground, and it will produce for whoever put it in the seed. So the product that I'm bringing to the board is a wealth-activating uh, system that I want to give away for free. However, in the book, I want to include whatever product that you want to be included from the winning team. And so every time they click on a button or URL on how to activate their system, it gets somebody on the team paid. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Judge, come on, Judge, Judge, come on. I can't even talk. I'm stuttering. Judge, please help me. Well, hey, it's profound. You said it. I can't add anything to that. That's just <laughs> great. I like the idea of getting a little piece here and a little piece there. That helps. You know, that's how we can all contribute to doing the thing that might get us together and moved on out of our bad situation. Everybody can do something. That's real. Thank you so much, Mr. Lonnie. I'm going to plug you in. Judge, I need you to talk to him so you can make sure you get the proper materials for his book. Uh, yeah. I'm going to take one more caller and, uh, and close this thing out, man. This has been just amazing. When, when, I, when I say amazing, I mean, like, super amazing. Like, I'm just like, wow. I'm going to take caller 858-600. Call 858-600. You're live on the winning team Wednesdays. You know how to floor us. Take your phone off mute. Take it. This is important. I got Judge O'Brien on. Take your phone off mute. Call the 858-600. I hate stage fright. I hate stage fright. And listen, now, um, I, I got to say this, and so everybody on the winning team and all the members that stay at home, just because I got a major person on, don't hang the phone up, especially when I'm grabbing your call. Don't hang the phone up on me because this is your opportunity to get recorded in history. Uh, with that being said, man, we're about to go ahead and close down the show. Help me, Father, right now, Lord. Thank you for everything that you've done. Thank you for all the wonderful people that's been produced. Thank you for Judge Joe Brown. Thank you for everything. We can't change this world without the right wisdom. Forgive me of anything I've said, done, that's been displeasing you in your sight. Please continue to guide me, lead me, shuffle me, and mold me to lead the winning team. As I Close the show out and give Judge Joe Brown the floor to give the wisdom to go home. Lord, never leave us, never forsake us, never, 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 never stop letting us know about your will. In Jesus Christ's name, amen, amen, amen. I yield the floor to Judge Joe Brown. Hey, 
Give us your closing comments, contact information, and the wisdom for the winning team on Winning Team Wednesday. You have the power to close my show. Be strong, be focused, and do it. You don't live long, so when you get ready to draw nigh to an ending, hey, just think back on it. Were you strong? Just a little extra effort is all it takes. A little focus is what it takes. A determination to be about something is a great thing, but use your head so you get a righteous something you're trying to be. And what is that? So people will talk about you after you're gone in a favorable way. So they'll say, I'm glad I knew him or her and he or she did something that carries on. There you go. Follow Judge Joe Brown TV at Twitter. Follow Judge Joe Brown TV at Twitter. This has been the Entertainment Worldwide Network. Any questions, comments, or complaints about this broadcast, and please contact me direct, Pastor Don Jr., CEO of the Entertainment Worldwide Network, Commissioner of 300 Winning Team. Y'all have a great day. I love each and every last one of you. Be blessed. <laughs>